and we are live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. And as always, with these live streams, please let us know if you can hear us and you can see us OK. And apologies in advance if we have any technical issues during this stream. We did a practice game this afternoon where the overhead camera kept turning off for no reason whatsoever. So if that happens, apologies in advance. Let us know, but we, we will see it. We will see it anyway. Um, so welcome to a three player tutorial and playthrough of Nucleum. This is a new game that's coming out next month. It's going to be released at Essen Spiel 2023. The publisher is Board and Dice. The designers are David Turzi and Simone Luciani, both very reputable designers that have done a lot of games uh, in the past. And Ben's joining me tonight. Hello. And Pete's joining me as well. Hello. We've played a three player game of this afternoon. So we're all experts in the game. <laughs> no, in fact, to be honest, our scores in our practice game this afternoon were about half of what I scored the last time I played. I have checked the rule. I got the rules right, but we all played really badly this afternoon. So we, we might not be. Don't don't. This isn't three experts playing the game, but the job here is to is to show you the game. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing it's a tutorial and playthrough. But we're going to be explaining the rules as we go. This is probably a 45 minute teach. If you were to teach this game in full from the start, we're not going to do that tonight. I'm going to give you a bit of an overview and then we're going to start playing and we'll explain a lot of the rules as we go along. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. This is a prototype copy of the game. Now, this is the final game. So the rules that we're going to play with tonight are the final rules. The artwork and the graphic design, I'm pretty sure that this is the final version of the game. But when we zoom in on some of the components and you think, oh, they look a bit rough. It, yeah, this is this is physically a prototype of the game, but the game is finished and it has gone to print. I am a little late covering this game. Some of the channels have already covered it. Uh, and that's because I was on honeymoon. So I've, I've, I've been away for the last couple of weeks. Uh, otherwise, I would have covered this early, uh, would have covered this earlier. So this is a sponsored stream from Board and Dice. As such, you're not going to get any opinions from any of us three in this video. We are all going to have our opinions on this game, but we will be discussing those on our Slack channel uh, later on today or over the weekend. But yeah, you're not going to get any opinions from us in this video uh, because it is a sponsored video. So thank you very much to Board and Dice for sponsoring the video. Uh, and I also wanted to say a big thank you to all of my patron supporters for funding the channel. Uh, and making all of this possible. If you like the content that I create and you want to support me directly, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. There's one other thank you that I wanted to give just before we start, and that is to Dorrit, who sent me a load of uh, audio files on how you pronounce the different cities in this game. So thank you very much for that. We have just spent the last five minutes listening to it, and we're probably going to get it wrong, <laughs> but, we, but we will see. Right, are we, are we ready? So high level overview this is an alternative history uh, game set in the 19th century but where nuclear power has been discovered so what we've got is we've got the main board here which is an area known as saxony and we have all of these different cities and we have these power plants so we have a coal power plant over here we have another coal power plant here we have one here we have one here and one of them at random has got, has got this green thing in the top this power plant has already been modified so that it can take uranium as well as coal. And one of the main things that we're going to be doing in this game is that we are going to be developing the board by placing urban buildings onto the board. Then we are going to be uh, generating electricity using coal, which we can import from either here or up here. You can't generate coal yourself in this game. It comes comes in from other areas of the country. Uh, and possibly uranium. So we're going to be create. We're going to be building mines which are going to have uranium, and we use those. We use that coal and we use that uranium at the various power plants to generate electricity. We use that electricity to energize our buildings, which is going to get us points at the end of the game. It, get, it gets us a bonus immediately, but it's going to generate us points at the end of the game. That's a very high level overview of what we're doing, but there's a lot more going on in the game. Now we've got the board set up for a three player game. It uses the three to four player side of the board. So if you're playing solo or two player, it does use the other side of the board. And because we're playing three player, we've actually got some of these spaces blocked off. So you don't block these spaces off in a four player game, but in a three player game, certain areas are blocked off. Also, you may notice we have some of these buildings on the board already. Now you still have neutral buildings in a four player game, these are neutral urban buildings. Any of us can use or uh, generate enough electricity to power these buildings. 
And when you do, you flip it over, you get the bonus that's printed on it. Uh, it's just, it's they're there, they're an initial boost. There's 10 of these neutral buildings in the game. We've picked four of them at random. There's a lot of variable setup in this game, which we've done off camera, but just to give you an idea, we have here, uh, in a three player game, we have 35 action tiles out of a possible 50. So there are 20 fixed ones that you use in every game, and then there are 30 other ones. We have picked 20, I oh know, 15 of those other ones, shuffled it in with the 20 fixed ones. That is our big pile of action tiles that are available in this game. We have contracts. We have silver and, con uh, and gold contracts. Uh, there's more than we need in this game, so we've shuffled them. We've picked some out at random. We've also got three purple contracts. There's a whole load more included in the game, but you only ever use one of each uh, sort of level one, two, and three purple ones. And we've got four end game scoring cards. So the, these are milestone cards, or the, these are milestone markers. That's what they're called. And we've got four of these end game objective tiles, which have been picked randomly at the start of the game. And that's going to make every game different in terms of variability. We used different ones this afternoon. Um, so yeah. So we'll go on to them later on. That's pretty much the board setup done. We've each got our own player board. So let me just show you my player board. So your player board actually consists of two sections. You've got the main player board section here, which is almost the same for every player. The only thing that's different is this little tile here. So that's the player board. Everybody has exactly the same player board. But then you actually, you're supposed to determine player order and in reverse player order, you choose which experiment you want to be. Now, we, we've just given these out at random, which I would recommend you do for your first game. But once you know the game, you actually choose which one you want. So you see here, I've got experiment D. And every experiment comes with its own little, tiny little tile. So this is my special tile that goes in there. So that is a slight modifier to your main player board based on which experiment you've got. In your experiment, you've got eight technologies. If you look carefully, you can see the numbers D1 down to D8, and they all start off half slid out, because what you're gonna be doing in the game is you're gonna be developing these technologies, and when you do that, you slide it into the right like that. On the right-hand side of your board is space for your contracts. You can have up to four contracts. You start the game with one of them. This has got a little dot on the back. That means it was a starting contract. And this is a little mini objective for you to try and achieve. And if you do achieve it, you're going to get a bonus. The bonus for this one is that I gain one of my level one technologies. And just to give you an idea of what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get two buildings in a white cities. So once you know the iconography of the game, it will, it will flow a lot better. But we've each got a little starting objective. Each player also starts with five action tiles. Now, these action tiles have got letters on the back, which match the experiment. So you see all of mine have D, and four of them have train lines on the back and one of them doesn't. So we've all got slightly different action tiles at the start of the game. Um, we'll come on to those in a bit more detail later on. You start with four money each, which is, how did we say that this was pronounced? Talas? Yeah. Talas. That's the money in the game. And you start with two workers. Now it does recommend for your first couple of games, starting with three workers. And I'm thinking maybe we should start with three workers each because, because we weren't very good this afternoon, were we? Okay, we're going to start with three workers each. But, as I say, the, the rules of the game are you're supposed to start with two, but it recommends starting with three just for your first couple of games. I technically shouldn't really start with three because this is my fourth game. But based on how well I did this afternoon, <laughs> it's like I hadn't played it at all. Right, are we ready for a, a bit of an overview? Do you want to decide who's going to go first so that you two can start planning your opening moves? Same. Green. Green is the start player. So Pete is going to start the game. Uh, that start player never changes. So the flow of this game is Pete is going to take a turn, then Ben's going to take a turn, then I'm going to take a turn, then Pete's going to take a turn, and we literally just do that. So this isn't a game that has rounds as such with different phases or anything like that. It is just players take turns round the table one at a time. On your turn, you have three options of what to do. You can either Take one of your action tiles and you can place it above your player board and you always place it in the left most available slot. So my first one, for example, I would put there. And then you do 
both of the actions on that tile. And you can do those actions in any order. Um, and when you are playing an action tile above your player board, and only when playing an action tile above your player board, you can also complete one of your contracts. And you can either complete the contract before you do either of the actions, in the middle of the actions, or after both of the actions. So that's your first option that you can do on your turn. The second thing that you can do on your turn is to take an action tile and place it onto any railway space on the board, any of these network links. And the reason why I'm saying any is because a lot of similar games like this require you to start off in a certain place and then build out from there. That's not the case with this game. You may, every time you place one of these on the board, you may place it literally anywhere at all. Now, when you place it on the board, you will get to do either or both of the actions depending on the color match. So for example, this tile here is green on one end and white. But if I was to place it here, for example, there is a color match here and I would get to do that green action. I wouldn't get to do the white action because there's nothing to color match with it. But later on, if somebody came in here with a white tile, then I would get to do the action. Every time you place a tile on the board, it requires one of your workers. And then that action tile effectively is a railway. And that tile has gone for the whole game. And that worker has gone for the whole game. So you lose the tile if you do that. But you still get to do the actions possibly. And the third thing that you can do is you can recharge. Now, recharging is the way that you will get your action tiles back and you will generate income. So everybody's player board has three income tracks, which tracks the amount of money that they generate, the amount of workers they generate, and the amount of points. So if I was to recharge now, I would gain four money, I'd gain two workers, and I gain no points. However, you're not allowed to recharge until you've played at least one tile. We'll come on to the tiles later because there is a limit on your recharging based on how many tiles you've played, but you'll see that later on. Now, whenever you recharge, and this is a this is a key part of the game you will be collecting as the game goes on these achievement tokens they come in ones and fives and every time you uh, energize a building by providing it with electricity or various other things in the game you will be gaining these achievement tokens so you collect these tokens and then whenever you recharge you basically take one of your milestone markers i think they're called milestone markers you take one if you look on here there's you can, probably can't see let me just press is it this button i think it's this button yes here we go so here we have a stack of milestone markers one for each player and there's three of them on here so the first time that green recharges we take that milestone marker off and then what we do is we check how many achievement tokens pete has and if Pete has 15 achievement tokens, then he can place this star. Well, there isn't a 15, but you'd put it on the 14. Now, you can always go in a lower space, and we'll go into why you wouldn't do that, do that later on. But basically, he would do that, and then he would lose all of his stars. So over the course of the game, you're going to be generating electricity, energizing your buildings. That's going to give you these achievement tokens. And then when you recharge, you effectively you spend those tokens because you can't keep them and you place your milestone marker on here. Now this is going to be, it wasn't this afternoon, but it will be tonight. This is gonna be a huge amount of points for us at the end of the game. <laughs> this is this is part of the end of game scoring and potentially is worth a lot of points. Right, so they're the three things that you can do. Now, before we go any further, I am just gonna mention how the game ends. What we have here is we have these five black discs. Each of these is an end game trigger marker and if you look carefully, that red line there means that the end of the game is actually triggered once two of these have been removed. If we were playing a two-player game, the game ends once three of them are removed. But we're playing a three-player game today. So as soon as two of these are removed, that triggers the end of the game. We then finish the end of that round, and then we all get one more turn, and that's it. Now, the way that these markers can get removed, we're looking for this icon. This is the red flag with the black line through it. And that occurs five times in the game. So I'm going to very briefly go through those. The first one is underneath this stack here. So whenever 
this stack runs out and in fact it's not just this stack there's actually another another stack there let me just press this button here this is the one so whenever this big stack of tiles runs out that reveals one of those end game triggers so that's one of them uh, the contracts whenever both of these contract piles are empty that is an end game trigger as well the third end game trigger is uh, is down here so whenever all of these stars have gone which means all players have recharged three times that is also an end of game trigger uh, the fourth one to mention is here 70 points so whenever any player gets to 70 points that's going to be one of the end game triggers and finally the last flag is on everybody's player board once one player has got all eight of their technologies that's an end game trigger as well so five ways to remove one of these black tokens and when two of them are removed we finish that round and then we play one more round right i think that's it for a, for a high level overview mm -hmm. we have determined start player is pete just notice david is in the chat hi david thank you very much for joining in uh what i've missed he said ask him next year <laughs> uh because this is a live playthrough and i'm quite tired we might make some mistakes if we make any mistakes while you're watching this video and you spot them please let us know in the chat um and we will we will try and self-correct it if somebody spots a mistake that we've made after the video has finished then please let me know leave me a comment uh and i will add some klingon subtitles into the video so if you're one of the people watching this back afterwards I would recommend going to your subtitles, turning them onto the Klingon channel, uh, and then yeah, any corrections, I will I will get them added in. So Pete, you've had the last ten minutes to plan your cunning move. I did. I planned it perfectly, and then at the very <laughs> last second, I thought, oh wait a minute, and now so, but I I am going to do this. Okay. So, so you're I'm, choosing the first option. I'm choosing the, to take one of these tiles and put it here. Right. Which means that I I get to use both of those. Yep. Uh, the first one is develop, which so, means I can buy one or two of those. Yes. Yeah. So there are five actions in the game, and Pete has played an action tile with the cog icon on. That cog icon means that he's going to be able to do the develop action. You can see the cog icon there. And with the develop action, you basically buy any one of these action tiles for the cost printed on it. But then you may spend another two coins to buy another one. And then after you've bought them, everything that's there slides to the right and we replenish the stack. So that's the develop action. Um, and yeah, that's how you get more action tiles. So do you want to buy one or do you want to buy two? I should I should remove these 12 stars because that would be cheating. I'm going <laughs> to take this one yep. for free because yep. the first one is for free. And well, the first one's for free if, if, if you buy, if, if, if you buy, <clears> that, if you buy that, one. that one. Yeah. The second one costs you two and another whatever. whatever that is so <clears throat> i'm going to take this one uh costing me three so three so money in total most of my money gone in the first and then after the end of that action these slide down burning a hole in my pocket and then we get new ones come out there so that's the first action the second action is i can either have uh, another worker or i can have two money well yeah. given the financial status I think that's where we're going. Okay. That's my go. That's your go done. So you played an action tile above your player board. You performed both of the actions on that tile. And I, and can't, I can't fulfill a you contract. You can fulfill a contract at this point if you wanted to, if you were able to do. Right, Ben, your go. Cool. I'm going to take this one. My top action is to build. Urbanize. urbanize. So urbanize is the second action that we're going to explain. And by urbanizing, what you do is you take, this is the icon for urbanizing. What you do is you take any one of these bit urban buildings from your board, you pay the costs shown on the left hand side, and you place it on the board. Now, this game has been described quite accurately, I think, as a combination between brass and barrage. And if you are looking at this, you might think, well, this looks a little bit like brass. Yes, it does. But in brass, you have to build the buildings in order. In this one, you can build anything you want to. Now, the cost, as I mentioned, is shown on the left-hand side. The buildings are divided into three types. You've got residences, factories, and laboratories. They all do different things, but essentially they're going to generate... Um, they, they do nothing for you when you place them, but when you 
energize them by providing them with electricity you'll get the bonus and then you'll get the points printed on them at the end of the game there is something special about the bottom line of each one so these are government buildings which i'll explain later on as well assuming one of us builds one of them um and then what you do is you have to place it somewhere on the board so ben what building are you going to build uh, factory. a level one factory so that so costs you two money. two money now one of the golden rules about building a building whether it be an urban building a turbine or a mine is it has to go in what's called your network at the start of the game none of us have anything on the board therefore none of us have a network so ben you can put this in any of the cities that you want to put it in. so where are you going to put it Risa. in Risa. okay now Risa is a green colored city and you'll notice that there are two spaces in there one of them has the residence icon on so that can only have a residence and one of them has the factory icon and that can only have a factory now because ben's put that in there that means that that city is now his only network and the way that he can expand his network is by building railways but remember what i said about railways is you can build a railway anywhere on the board so if ben was to build a railway here which he's allowed to do that means that city would be in one of his networks and these two cities would be in another of his networks it does get a little confusing until you've played the game once but for example because right now this is ben's only network if he was to try and say build a turbine or a mine he's not allowed to because there is no space for a mine or a turbine in that city so understanding the concept of networks is a really important part of the game right so you've done that that's it that's the urbanized action yeah bottom and then part. you've got bottom part I can either get that two money back or I can get a worker. So I'll just take me. I'm going to take two money. And that's your turn done. Done. Okay. Well, I think I might do something different. Although I tried something different in the last game and it, it didn't didn't work at all, did it? Um, interesting. Why is that there? Oh, yeah, that was there. Okay. So I think just to be different, I might decide to build a railway because experiment D is all about building railways and i have an end game scoring technology for building railways although as i've realized halfway through the previous game i've got a lot of technologies that give me bonuses when i build a railway i kind of want them <laughs> if i get them first and then decide to build railways that might be good so my my initial contract is for having two buildings of any type in white cities and I'm also looking at these end game scoring tiles here. So you building a factory was probably a good a good initial move because that's a good place for a factory. Although Bautzen is a white city and there's a space for a factory. I don't just want to copy it, Ben, but do I want to build a building in Bautzen to start with? I think I do. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to play a tile above my player board. Oh, do I build it as a railway? The problem is, if I build this as a railway, for example, there, these two cities are then in my network, which means I then can't build there. Not straight away. Not straight away. So I, th I, think, I'm I think I'm going to play it above my player board. So the two actions I'm doing are developing and urbanising, which are the two actions we've already seen. So nothing new. Um... I'm going to develop first and because money is tight I'm just going to take the free one I'm not going to take a second one so those slide down and then my second action is to urbanize and because I don't have a network on the board I can go anywhere now Ben you built your level one factory and I'm I'm considering doing the same So, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to spend two money and I'm going to build a level one factory. Now, this space in Bouton, let me just show you this. Where are we? Here we go. Bouton. You can see that there's two icons on the space. That means that that can have either a factory or a laboratory. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a factory on it. Now, you'll notice that this blocking tile is there. That was randomly determined at the start of the game using a set of setup cards. 
So if you played a three player game, that might not be there. That, that might be an open space. But in our game, it's, it's been blocked off because we're playing a three player. Right, so I've done that action. I've done that action. That's me finished. Back to you, Pete. Okay. Right. I'm going to. I'm going to take this one again. Okay. I'm going to take this one. So you're developing, but with a discount of minus one. So, um, and that minus one, can that be applied to either the first or the second? Correct. Right. Whatever you do with this action, you've got a discount of one. So I want this one. Mm -hmm. And that. So that normally costs two, but you but get a discount. Take that of one. as the first one, it costs me one. Yeah. You um, can afford a second one if you wanted to buy that one. Let's He's do doing that. it. Look at all them tiles. Yeah. Right. Now, your second action is an action we haven't seen yet. And this is industrialize. So let me just show you my player board. We've seen the urbanize action where you spend money and you place one of these urban buildings on the board. The action that Pete is about to do is industrialize, which is this action. Now, when you industrialize, you build either a turbine or a mine, but the cost is in workers. So you spend workers, and again, you can build any of them you want to build, but building either of these two costs one worker, building either of these costs two workers, and building either of these costs three workers. Now, these are still buildings. They're not urban buildings, but they are buildings, and therefore you must build them again in your network. Now, Pete doesn't have a network on the board. So again, like me and Ben, he can actually build his first one anywhere. So what are you building? You're going to build a, a nice basic turbine. I'm spending my worker. Yep. I'm building a turbine and I'm going to put him over in this house. Is it down? Yeah. Okay. So if we just have a look over at lovely Zitau, where is it? There it is. Okay. So you can see that in that town there, there are there's actually four spaces for turbines, but that space is only available in a four-player game. So we've, we've blocked that off. And any space on the board that's red costs two money. So obviously Pete's going to go for the, for the cheap space. Now you might be thinking, what's this space down here? Because it's circular. That is not a turbine space. We'll explain that later on. But that is not a space where you can build turbines. Now what turbines do, they do two things. First of all, and let me, let me show you my player board to show you what a turbine does. This is the turbine that Pete has just built. And if you look carefully, you will see that there is an icon here. And this is on this is the same on every player board. So as soon as you have built your first turbine, well, not sorry, not your first turbine, but the uppermost turbine from your thing, because you can build any of them. Whenever you perform the energize action and you buy coal, the total cost of all of the coal that you buy that round is discounted by one. So it makes coal purchases cheaper whenever you perform the energize action. So that's what Pete's unlocked. The other thing that a turbine does is once a power plant has been converted to use uranium, there is a limited amount of uranium that it can use every action. And that is one plus one for every turbine. So the more turbines that are next to a power plant, the more uranium that it can process to generate electricity. And uranium is more efficient at generating electricity than coal, as we all know. Right, so you've done the industrialized action. You've placed the turbine there. Yep. So that's my turn. That's it, that's your go done. Can you just clarify that one? Yes. That's two urban buildings, two... No, so that icon there, do you see the three little things? Yeah. There's the plumb bob, the spanner and the pickaxe. So it's a combination of that and that. So what it means is any building. You've built something. So as long as you've got two buildings in green, then that counts as that contract completed. I'm going to do a railway. Right. I'm going in here. So remember, railways, and I've said this three times because it is important, can go anywhere on the board, irrespective of where you already are. And you're putting it there. Yep. So what we've got is we have, just going to show this on the camera while we're... Uh, there you go. So Ben has built this railway here. There is a colour match here, so he's going to get to do this action. There is no colour match here, so he doesn't get to do this action. Now, what this action is, you notice it's got, that's not just get one money. It's actually got the little green arrow pointing to the right. 
So what that means is he doesn't gain any money, but he increases his money income track by one, which is on the player board. So you've moved that up one. And you don't get to do this action because there isn't a colour map. Now, railway connections between cities come in either ones, twos or threes. The ones are the easiest to explain because as soon as you've done it, you flip it over and that's it. If it was a two, you would wait until both sections are complete. Then any players contributing to it will gain a bonus and then you flip the tiles over. And if it's three, you have to wait till it's complete. You still get the actions when you place the tiles, but it's only when all three tiles are placed that you flip them over and then everybody who contributed will get another bonus. Now, let's just talk about Ben's network. So Ben has this city, Riza, in one of his networks, but he now has a second network. And his second network consists of Glasshutter. Yeah. There you go. And Brooks. We're, we're sort of getting there. Yeah. <laughs> so the reason why these two cities are part of his network, because he doesn't have anything in these cities, it's because the railway is actually connected directly or is touching both of those cities. If, for example, he'd have built it here, then this city would be in his network, but not this one. Until somebody built here, which doesn't have to be Ben, it could be somebody else. So let's say, for example, let's just skip ahead and let's say I'd built there. Then what we've done is we actually both own this connection which means both of us are now in both of these cities. You don't have to have all of the workers yourself on a particular connection. As long as you are, you have contributed to that connection, then you are counted as being part of that link. But anyway, you built, you built there. So that's that done. And that's it, I think, isn't it? That's me done. So you built a railway and you spent the worker <clears throat> so i think i know what you're going to be doing next <laughs> you're going to be doing the thing that i might have been wanting to do next um because i want to get i want to complete this contract as early as possible in order to get that technology which is going to give me all sorts of extra bonuses um but I can't build again in here because it's full. So I'm going to have to do the same thing as you. I'm going to have to place something down as a railway. Um, what are we going to place? I think it's going to be... But it wants to connect to white. So I'm going to place this one. Oh, but it's a really good tile. So now I'm going to place this one. Oh, but no, that's green. Where do we place this one? Okay, I'm going to place this one. Decided. I'm going to put it there. So what I've done is... Let's just show you this. I'm going to, I'm going to be zooming in a lot as we just start playing the game to explain what I've done. So here's what I've done. I've placed this tile here. I'm going to put one of my workers on it. And... This colour matches, which means I'm going to get to do this action, which is basically spend one money uh, in order to move any one of my tracks up by one. Any one of my income tracks can be increased by one. Now, this isn't a colour match at the moment. Even though this is a purple city, this end of the tile is not touching that city. It's only if somebody else was to come along here with a purple tile or even a wild card, that, that would be fine. And at that point, I would get to perform this action. But right now... I'm just going to do this action. But what this means, importantly, is this city is now part of my other network. So I have one network here and I have another network, which is over here. So anyway, I'm going to do that action, which is to spend one money. And I am going to move one of these tracks up and I am going to move the worker income track up. And that's my go done. OK, I'm just simply going to go here with that. Moving that up to and that up to. Oh, that's a nice tile. Oh, is that the super one that you paid a lot of money for? Yes. So that simply increases two of your income tracks. Yeah, and that's my go. That's I'm going to place this one. So I get to do the fog action. I can't remember what it's called. I do apologise. Develop. Develop. I, uh, uh, every time you call an action by the wrong name, you lose a point. I think that's in the rule book. <laughs> 
going to take this one because it's free. Mm -hmm. Are you going to pay for an extra one? Certainly am. I am going to have. Uh, let me know if you're watching this. Uh, if you have pre ordered this game now, you could pre order this game from Board and Dice for collecting at Essen. Um, the pre order has now closed, unfortunately. As I say, because I was away on honeymoon, I only got around to doing this now, and that means that the, the pre order has actually closed. But yeah, let me know if you're somebody who's pre ordered it, or let me know if it's something that, you know, if, if you. I don't know if shops have got this up for pre order yet. I guess not. And then my second action. I'm going to industrialize. Industrialize. Use this one. So um, we've seen three of the five actions so far. I'm going to build a mine here. Okay, so you are allowed to build here because it is in your network. So Ben has built a mine. Now, whenever you build a mine, you gain a number of uranium equal to the number of mines that you've built. So that is your first mine, which means you gain one uranium. Now, uranium, you cannot just keep it in your pocket. You always have to put it somewhere which is on a mine. Now that particular mine can store three uranium. I've only got one. Two workers, which I've already done. Two workers, which you spent. That's the end of my go. Okay, right. Well, now that I've got that there, I also want to industrialize. Unfortunately, I don't have a oh, tile. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, you oh, can do your contract. And then I forgot, sorry. Ah, right. I was doing that. So then I can do my contract. So, so you need to have two buildings in green cities. Yep. Which I have. Which you've got. So that's a that's a super contract. You get two points immediately. That's it. You get two money immediately. I'll keep looking because I walk on money back. And you get to unlock one of your level one technologies. So which one are you gonna go for? My level one is this one. So I immediately get to build uh, You immediately get to do the urbanize at, at a, discount, a discount of two. two. But it's a one off. It's a one off. And it has to be Flip it over one in up. your network. Yeah. So there's only one place that you can build, because these two don't have any spaces for urban buildings. It's Correct. going to have to be there. Yep. Um, building the little one? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll go for the next one up. That will cost me discount at two, so it's still cost You get discount at two. Yeah. So it costs you one money. That goes there. Now, one of the things that you can do in this game, if you do get short of money or workers, is at any point on your turn, you may convert one uranium into a worker. Don't quite know how that works. Uh, or you can convert one worker into a money. Now, that's not a good exchange rate, but sometimes if you really need to do that, like if you've got loads of uranium and not enough workers. So just be aware that that is something that you can do. And that is shown on your player board here. So... One uranium can convert into a worker. One worker can convert into one taller. Right. My go. So yeah, so I, I really want to build a turbine here so that I'm in this city. And that would allow me to complete my contract. But I don't have an action tile that allows me to industrialize. Except for this one. And I'm trying to work out. Yeah, I'm going to do it. So every player starts the game with one of these tiles. This tile allows you to do any of the five actions you want to. And if that action was to cost you money, you would get a discount of one. This is the only action tile which cannot be placed as a railway. So you will always have this action tile in the game for use here. And I'm actually going to use it. I'm going to put it there and I am going to perform the action industrialize which doesn't cost me any money, so the discount is wasted, but I am going to spend my one remaining worker. So because I've spent one worker, I can either put a turbine or a mine. Well, there's no spaces for mines in Plowen, so I'm going to build a turbine. And the turbine is going to go there, and then I complete this contract. But this contract is for having any two buildings in white cities. I've got the factory up in Bouton, the turbine down here in Plowen. So that contract is done. I get to unlock one of my level one technologies. And I think, well, I was going to take that one. But actually, looking at the board, I'm going to take this one for something different. So what this means is every time I take a contract, which is an action that we've not seen yet, 
I'm going to gain one of those achievement stars. And if you're worried about the iconography and understanding it, every player gets one of these player raids. Where's mine? No, nope, I've lost mine. Where's the one for experiment D? <laughs> I've put it somewhere. I've put it somewhere safe. It's on the floor. There it is. So what you've got is you've got a player reference card here with a description of all of your technologies for experiment D. So if you're not sure what any of them do, it's all explained on here. And the other side of the card is basically a summary of pretty much a lot of the game that I've already explained. Uh, you keep the contracts that you've fulfilled face down because some of the later contracts are fulfilled by having other contracts here. Right, Pete, you'll go. Um, can that one go over on the purple and white railway there? The other way around. Yeah, and the, with the little guy on it. So you're building a railway. There's two colour matches. So you get to do both of those actions. Well, in theory. Uh, I'm going to put that um, uranium mine over by the... 43 there. So it's your first mine, so you get one uranium. Yeah. And uh, then I have the opportunity to do a, a, an urbanization, uh, but I don't have any money, so I can't do that. So you've got one worker which you could convert into one money. Yeah. You also have a uranium that you could convert into a worker, which you could, could then convert into a money. So I'm I not saying it's the best thing to do, but you could. You could build something. But I don't have anywhere to place it. Uh, so this is in your network. But there's no building this spaces. Is in your network. No building spaces. Is that it? Yeah. So oh, you're not on the board anywhere else. No. Right. So okay. I've, so you I've, can't. I've wasted that. But... That's fine. All actions are optional. Yeah. So that's my go. I'm going to use the same action again. Going to. Develop. Develop. I'm trying to look down and get the right one. That's a freebie. <laughs> and I slide along my rainbow man as I call him one. Yeah, so workers and you're income. not paying extra to... Nope. Okay. I can't. I've only got one. Done. All right. Done. Okay. So, my go. Well, because I've done that, I've got to do... Well, you... Mm. Again, I'm kind of hoping somebody helps me finish this network here. Um, But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an action that we've not seen yet. <clears throat> And I'm going to take a contract. So this action here with the pen nib is taking a contract. I've actually got two action tiles that allow me to take a contract. This is a normal one. This is going to get me double the bonus. Because whenever you take a contract, you place it in one of the contract slots along the right hand side of your board. And there's a bonus printed on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this action tile to take a contract. And I'm going to get double the bonus. I'm going to put it up there. Now the contracts are... Where are the contracts? The contracts are here. So we've actually got seven contracts currently visible. These two are silver ones, which were drawn randomly from this deck uh, here. And there's nine here in a three player game. So that must mean the seven left. Doesn't look like the seven left. No, there is. Uh, we also have two gold ones here. Gold ones are uh, more rewards, but they're slightly harder to do. And what we've actually got is we've got three purple ones here. Now, the gold and the silver ones. When they are taken with this action, they will get replenished. The purple ones, you never take them. You can complete them at the same time as you would normally complete a contract, but you can never take them from the board. You can complete them, but once one player has completed them, they remove it and it never gets replenished. Um, so yeah, so these are our sort of long-term contracts, which is to have 17 stars, six buildings in orange cities, and to have eight completed contracts. Can you just remind me this? One? Yeah, this is for having four cities in the same network. So you don't need to have anything in those cities, you just need to have four. This is for having one urban building in Prague. This is for having three residences, and this is for having seven train lines. So I need to decide which one of them I'm going to take. And based on what I've got on the board at the moment, none of these are looking anywhere near good for me at all this is this is mm. okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this one i'm going to have a change of plan and what i'm going to do is i'm going to slot it into this part of my player board here so the normal reward is two achievement stars but because i'm playing the pen nib with the double on i get four stars except i've only got three ah it's because pete's got that there you go 
So I've got four stars. And the second part of the action is my Rainbow Man moves up one space. <laughs> and then we replenish. Th See, I told you I'd forget. <laughs> I'm laughing because Rainbow Man's stuck. Okay, Pete. And that's one times. That eight. is one government building. So the bottom building on each of your tracks, in addition to it being a residence, a factory, or a laboratory, is also a government building. And these have a very interesting way of scoring points at the end of the game, which we'll go on to a bit later on. And that's a city with a nuclear. No, that's the network symbol. Network. So that's symbol. four cities in a network. So right now you have two cities in a network. Okay. If you were to connect to here and to here, you would have four cities in a network. Well, let's see how far we can progress towards that then. I'll put that in there to develop. So I'm developing. I'm taking that tile. It's not developing. It's. No, it's not. Contract. It's contracting. It's contracting. Yeah. So I'm going to contract to take that. Sorry, take that contract. Put it in there. Gets me two money. Two money. Um, and then you increase your income track by one. That's my go. Done. Okay. Turns so, can be uh, can be fairly quick. I'm going to recharge. Bonus for your tech, or is that when you complete the contract? He took four instead of two. Yes. So yeah, the the action tile that I used says that I get double the bonus whenever I take a contract. I thought I I thought I explained that not clearly enough. Thank you, Paul. Okay. I'm going to reach out. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Bonus star. I think that's what you were trying to tell me. I took a technology that means whenever I take a contract, I get a star. So oh. actually, thank you, everybody. I told you I'd make mistakes. Thank you. We're all good. I got five stars. Was that a band from the 80s, 90s? Yeah, five yeah. star. Guild five band. Star. Is it a guild band? No, nope. it was to two brothers, three sisters. There you go. Silk and Steel was one of their albums. It's sad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> don't, st don't start singing. No, no, no. Please don't. I'm going to recharge. Third time don't. lucky. Oh, recharging. Yeah. Right. Okay. So recharging is the third thing that you can do on your turn. Remember, first thing, place a tile above your board. Second thing, place a tile on the board. And the third thing you can do is recharge. So when you recharge, the first thing you do is you get all of your income based on the visible numbers to the left of your block. So that's five money, two workers, and no points. The second thing you do is you count how many achievement tokens you've got. Zero. Zero. And then what we do is we place the leftmost star from here. So we're going to take the red one, because Ben's red. And we place it on this track based on how many stars he's got. And he has no stars which means he goes on the bottom space. Now, what this means is at the end of the game, he's going to lose three points because he's on this space here, but he immediately gains as a compensation reward one worker and two money. So we've done the income. Mm -hmm. We've moved the star. Now, at this point, if all of the stars had gone from here, we have what's called the Day of the King reward, which gives points for whoever's highest up the track and second highest up the track. Then you lose all of your achievement tokens. You don't have any. And then you get all of your action tiles back. Now, you might be thinking, because each player only has three stars here, that you can only recharge three times in the game. That's not true. Each player actually has three additional stars for once you've used all of these stars. So you can recharge up to six times in the game. But when that's not common, because when all players have recharged once, that is one of the end of game triggers. And we have tend to find in our games that you will play... 80 to 85 percent of the game and then all of a sudden you'll remove the first one then remove the second one and then it's game over so um yeah i'm done you're all done you yeah. you have recharged once right what am i going to do i've got my contract i want to build in prague i can't build in prague for two reasons it's not part of my network i haven't got enough money i think i might be recharging as well you know I mean, I don't have to. I could play that and I could take another contract. Taking another contract would get me another star, but that would get me six. It doesn't get me into the next bracket. Is there any way I can get two stars? Don't think there is. I'm, I'm trying to work out if I can energize at all. And I don't have any workers. And I don't have any uranium to turn into workers. 
Decisions, decisions. Do... What if I move that to there? It's still three. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I think... So if I... Yeah, if I energise, I can't... The only building I've got is here, and there's no way to get power for there. It's too early to be energising, isn't it? Well, for us... I think, Ben, you're the only one that can energise at the moment. Because what Ben can do is he can buy the coal from here, yep. along this long distance network, into the coal power plant, and he joins his buildings here. I'm going to recharge. So I get my income. Now, I did say I was going to explain a little bit more about the way income works. It's not a problem for me because I'm going to be generating four money, three workers and no points. But when you recharge, you only recharge up to the limit of where your action tiles are. So let's say, for example, this was here. In an ideal situation, when I generate income, I will gain five workers and six points. But because my action tile marker is there, it actually limits. So what that means is you can't just keep recharging over and over again when your markers are high. You've got to play a load of action tiles first. So as it is, that's there. The Chuck's saying that those markers are not limited. So OK, you, you, re you can recharge more than six. OK, useful to know. Useful to know. Right, so I'm going to gain four money, three workers, and no points. So, four money, three workers, no points. I have five stars, so I am going to put my milestone marker on the number five. Now, this is divided into multi-coloured sections. You can only, each player can only have one marker within each coloured section. So I'm in this dark green section here. I can't have another marker in this section. And this is why sometimes you might want to put a marker in a lower section. So if I, if I recharged again and had six stars, I couldn't put it there. I'd, I'd have to put it here. Now, what this means is because I'm here, I'm going to get two points each time I do this. So this is one of the end game scoring tiles, which is basically for every city in which I have an energized building, I am going to get two points. So that's one thing that I want to try and do. But up here, this is the big one. So let's just say, for example, uh, let's press that button there. This is for every factory that you have built on the board, whether it's energized or not. And if I was here, for example, that is going to get me six points for every factory that I've got on the board. So this is the big one to aim for. But if you don't get this many stars, you're not going to get in there. In fact, if you're in here, that's fine. The purple section is actually just times five. Just move down a bit. This is times five. So again, if I had 26 stars, it's in the times five section, but it's for this. It's above the dash line. So yeah, that's where the big points are. Anyway, I'm on five stars. And because I am the first player to place in here, I get to upgrade one of the existing power plants to now be able to take nucleum in addition to coal. Oh, I wonder which one it's going to be. Well, the thing is, there is there is a bonus. And I'm looking at the bonuses. That one's a worker. That one's a free action tile. That one's two money. That's it. And that one's already done. And that one over there with the smoke coming out the top, that can never be converted. That can only ever take coal. It does make sense to do this one, and it is a free action tile. So I'm going to upgrade that one. So it can still take coal, but it can also take um, uranium as well. And I get to take a free action tile. Um, well, let's take that one. Okay, so those come down. Goes there. And that's it. Then I lose all of my stars, and I get all of my tiles back. And we are good to go. Now you might be thinking, well, the stack is almost out. But no, it's not. We've actually got... Is that okay? Can you yep, still see the definitely. tiles? That's good. Can I just check on behalf of the good people of Plowen that you are observing all the necessary health and safety protocols with your handling of uranium? Totally. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got the paperwork somewhere. Okay, I'm going to do this. Put that one in there, which means I get to do... Any of the five actions. Right, I'm going to do this one. Uh, and I get a discount of one. So I'm going to take that one for free. 
And then I'm going to take that one, and it's going to cost, cost two. me two. And that's my go. Hey, I'm going to energize. That's the first one. Okay, done, so this is the last action that we haven't seen yet. It is the most complicated action in the game, and it did take us a game to get used to it. So when you energize, you are allowed to use one power plant, and you are trying to generate enough electricity to power one building, only one building. So which building are you going to try and power? I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in so we can see what's going on. I just not this. I think it was there. What's that? It's not my income thing. I think it was one up. Yeah. 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 So the I th I'm assuming it's one of these two buildings that you want to try and power. Yes. Okay. So which building? This one. That one. Right. So uh, he, he wants to provide no, electricity. No, 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 this no, one. Just go three. So you want to provide electricity to that building. It requires three electricity. Sorry. I oh, know. I'm going to go. Are you going to go with the four? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So which power plant are you going to use? This oh, one. The one now, right the, next door. This one right next door. Uh, so this can only take coal. Now, each coal re uh, generates one electricity. So in order to generate four electricity, Benny's going to need four coal. Now, coal is stored off-site. So uh, this is a long-distance railway network leading to some other part of Saxony. And at the start of the game, in a three-player game, there is five coal available at a cost of one each. And I assume that's the coal that you're going to buy. Can I just... Yeah, wind slightly. I can do the bottom action first. Can you can I? do the bottom action first. I'm going to do the bottom action first. first okay. One. Okay. So the foot bottom action is industrialize. Yeah. I'm going to take that one. So just before he does that, he's going to industrialize first. So I'm going to take that. And you're going to spend two here. workers. Spend two workers to build a turbine because that's going to go in your network. You can go here because it comes out of here. I get yeah these five. We'll come points. to that in a second. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Right. Do, do the five points, and I'll explain to people why in a minute. That goes there. Yeah. yeah. So that's the only place I think it can go, because your network is here yep. and also here. Yep. So the turbine goes there. And the reason I've done it is you've now got two free electricity. Yeah. So I'll show you this on my player board, because yep. it's, it's the same on my player board. What Ben's done is he has built that mine and he's built that turbine. So the first thing that happens is as soon as you've built both things on side of this bit, you gain that points. Oh, Pete's over the point. So because he's built that and he's built that, He's gained the five points immediately. But also, by building this turbine, every time Ben uses the energize action, he's got two free electricity from either wind power or do you power. Have to be, power do you have or... to be connected nope. to... Uh... Nope. Oh. So he's now got two free electricity every time he does the, gener uh, the energize action, and that's irrespective of where that turbine is on the board. So... Going back to what you was doing, which was the energize action, you are trying to power this building. Yep. You're using this power plant. Yep. You've got two free electricity, and you're now going to buy two coal from over there. So what you do is you flip the markers over from the minus one to the minus two. That represents that the coal is becoming more expensive as the supply runs out. If you buy one of the minus twos, you remove the tile from the board, and what's left is minus three. Minus three is there permanently for the rest of the game. It's a very expensive source of coal, but it will never deplete to zero. So you've generated four electricity. You've then got to send that electricity through railway lines, which don't have to be your own, in order to power your building. Now, in this case, the power plant is in the same city as the building. So you don't have to do that. This is really easy. You have done it. You flip it over. Now, what happens when you energize a building, you gain a number of stars, achievement tokens, equal to the electricity required by the building. Now, if Ben had generated five electricity, he would have still only got four stars because it's how many you need to energize the building. The other thing is you get the immediate bonus printed in the bottom right of the tile, which in this case is rainbow worker income by two. Yep. And what's printed in the bottom left is end game points. So if it's got the purple banner above it, it's the end game points. Uh, so Dorothy is saying that the long distance railway from there is going to Poland. So that that area in the top right of the board, that represents Poland. And all of that coal is stored there and we're, we're bringing it in. So you bring it into here, you're generating the electricity and you're then powering the building here. I think the point was made that that doesn't connect with that. So you can't it use, does not connect you can't that. take coal from there through here. So you can't take coal from there through here, but you can, if it was all connected, you can yeah. take coal from there 
and from there so if that if railway that railway line existed you could buy it from here and from here right and combine it together mm. should you need to do that yeah so that was a fairly simple example of energizing you're going to see as the game goes on we're going to have to be transporting the coal and the uranium across the railway lines and we're going to be um using the same railway lines to use the energy as well use the electricity and that's one of the big differences in this game between the networks which have to be your own railway lines or shared but when you're transporting coal uranium or electricity it can be anybody's railway lines so for example if ben want, ben had a building here in leipzig and i owned this entire stretch of railway line here ben could still use my railway line with the elect and send the electricity along it to power his building here so you can send coal uranium and electricity across any railway line no matter who owns it and it doesn't cost any money right so that's that's it yep now i've also noticed your action oh it had a free one you had a free one so we're going to get one coal back and flip so, one of those. I, I, so the tile that ben used actually generated one bonus electricity so he only needed to buy one piece of coal. Right, my go. I haven't thought at all of what I want to do. Well, I know what I want to do. I want to build a... Uh, yeah, I want to build a building in Prague. Prague is a special build, uh, is a special city, as you will know if you've been there. First of all, it is multicoloured. So it actually counts as all colours. So if you're building a railway line next to it, then it colour matches because it's all colours. But it doesn't count as all colours for the purposes of contracts. So if you have a contract to say build three buildings in a green city, it, it doesn't count for that. The other special ability of Prague is that every building that's built in Prague is worth is actually worth double the points at the end of the game. Um right, I've also just noticed that that camera is a little bit bright. I'm just going to turn down the brightness a little bit on that camera uh, if i can find it bear with me a minute yeah, it's probably that one is that doing anything i don't know whether that's doing anything or not but anyway um right my go so i want to build a link here and here or here and that will connect me to prague and then i can start building in prague whilst also keeping an eye on all of these and all of this other stuff. <laughs> so what do we want to build? Uh, do I want to be energising at the moment? I do not. I think... Do I want to take another contract? Well, if I take a contract, I get a star. And I could get a worker. Hmm. Okay, now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to place this here. And I'm going to put a worker on it. And the action is that my worker income increases by one. That's it. But now Prague is part of my network. So I can now build there if I want to. Okay, the darker camera is apparently better. Yeah, okay. Cool. Pete, you'll go. Okay, I'm recharging. So I get seven money. Seven money. Two workers. Two workers and two points. Two points. And then I get my stuff back. And how many stars have you got? Uh, zero. Okay, so two things happen here. You go on the zero space, which means you get an extra worker and an extra two money. Yep. But you're going to lose three points at the end of the game. Okay. Now, the other thing that happens is all of the stars have now been removed from here which means we have a King of the Day award. Now, this has never happened before. I've got the highest milestone marker, so I get six points. And my question is, for anybody who knows who's watching, in case Chuck is still watching, do you two both get two points? I'll check the rule book. Is zero a number? Is zero a number? Philosophical discussions. <laughs> I'm going to just check to see what the rule book says. So whenever you... Well, the Arabs invented it. It used to be just a not a... Because the Romans didn't value. have a zero, did no. they? Um, the Greeks used to have the word cipher, meaning uh, an empty vessel. 
but it was the Arabs who actually gave us arithmetic zero. Okay, so the zero achievement space is not part of any tier or milestone segment. You get two Tyler on one worker, right? Yep. Yeah. Where's the king of the day? Performing a king's day scoring. Whenever a milestone space becomes empty, the owner of the highest milestone marker on the milestone track gets six points. If there's a tie, you both get the six. The owner of the second highest milestone marker on the milestone track scores two. So that's no. So I'll be on the milestone track. No, because the previous one said it doesn't form part of the track. Okay. It says it so. is not part of any tier or any milestone segment on the track. I think it's still on the track. Well, is it on the track? Mm. Actually, from the way you've just read it, I would say it is on the track. It, it doesn't just... look like it's on the track. <laughs> it's on the track. It just doesn't qualify it, it, for not, being any of it's these. It's not in a tier. Yes. And it's not in a segment. We'll see. We'll see what the chat says. And it's a question that I can ask <laughs> later on. So problem. Chuck is saying, I get first and the zero doesn't count. It's not on the track. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Chuck is one of the uh, main developers of the game. He's been working on the game. He's been helping develop it and everything for the last few years, or two years at least. And he's the lead solo developer as well. There is a solo mode included in the game, which I've not had a chance to try yet. So thank you, Chuck, for your help. Okay, so we've done those points that were... Dun, 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 dun. That was your recharge. You've got all of your tiles back. So it's the end of my go. Me? Oh, I get the second place as well. Oh, right. Oh, well, I missed that. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Oh, you're saying I get the first and the second. Just scroll down slightly. Wow. Okay. Beginning to. If possible that. for you to score, it is possible for you to score the first and the second place. Oh, it says it. Milestone markers on the zero space are not eligible for the king's day. Right. Okay. It's absolutely specific. So yeah, thank you very much for that. It is in the rules. That might not have been the best thing for me to do, but I'm not going to unwind it. <laughs> I'm, okay. happy. I'm happy with it. <laughs> so my first one is contract. Oh, okay. Which contract would you like? So that's okay. for having two turbines. That one, I'm going to put it... It's long term, that's long term. I'm going to put it down there and get two more stars. Two stars. Oh, that's 23. Okay, new contract has come out for having two mines. Um, A meeting. Meeting of two mines. No, Second one, I'm then doing... Industrialize. Industrialize with a discount, discount of one. one. Ooh, I'm going to take this one. No, I want to use that one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do How that. How many do I have? So I'm going to take this turbine, which discount of one is only one. That puts in there. It's another turbine. Because I've now got two turbines, which is that one. Right, the contract that you've just taken. Yep. Okay. Yep. Two points and two points and, and a worker. Uh, work back. Done. So what action did you do? You did the industrialization. Take a contract. Yeah, and then industrialize. Industrialize with a discount of one. Yeah. Bought another turbine. So your special ability is that when Ben uses uranium to generate electricity, it two. generates three. three. Now I was going to mention that there is another use for turbines, so I I will mention that at this point by using. This is an example. So this power plant here, this can now take uranium as well as coal. And a power plant by default can only convert one uranium into electricity. But if there are turbines there, each turbine can convert an extra one uranium into electricity. And this is one of the parts in the game where you can use other people's stuff. So if me or Pete was to use either of these turbines to convert uranium, we must pay Ben one coin. So this power plant now can, can can actually convert a maximum of three uranium into electricity, but if we use either of these, Ben gets money, unless it's unless it's Ben that's using it, in which case he doesn't he doesn't pay himself. Right, you're done. Yep. So I want to urbanise and I want to build a building in Prague in order to complete this contract, and I have an action that allows me to urbanise. But do I want to place it on there or do I want to place it as a oh, tricky choices? Because it's not a very good tile, this. I'd be happy to lose this tile as a as a railway. 
So maybe that's what we do. Now then. just thinking about where I might want to put my future factories and I need to connect it to white oh okay yeah we can do this so uh, then Yeah. I think I'm going to build it here. This is probably a bad move. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to build that railway there, costing a worker. There is a colour match at this end, so I get to do that action, which is urbanisation. And I am going to build a building in Prague. Now, that has to be a residence that has to be a government building i don't think i'm at the stage now where i want to build a government building but i am at the stage where i want to build a residence so which residence do i want to build it's a long way away from getting coal isn't it it's going to have to be uranium which is probably going to be here i think i'm just going to build the basic one for now so i'm going to spend two money i'm going to build that here and I can't complete the contract. So one of the tricky things in this game is you can only complete a contract on a turn where you play a tile above your player board. Because I played a railway here, that means I can't do that. Can you complete multiple contracts? No, you can only ever do one contract. So I'm actually going to undo that slightly. And I'm actually going to place it there because I wanted to complete a contract. That was my whole reason for doing it. So instead of putting it there, I place it there. I do the urbanization. That's gone there. I get to complete this contract, which gets me a level one technology, which I'll have that. And I also get to develop. It's really nice. But I'm going to take that one for free. And I could take another one, but I don't want to. So I'm done. Okay, I'm going to build a railway. So can I have can he, on his surfboard? Can you put him going? over there between uh, Zittau and uh, uh, Gurlitz, please? Gurlitz. So you got the. You get both of those actions. Yep. Moving three. So right worker right income goes up by two. Just to use this one third. Industrialization. Industrialization. Um, yeah. If I could. Place another turbine, please. Where are you going to put it? A cost of two? A cost of two. Now that, okay. And that's the end of my go. You'll have this sorted out, so I think. Anybody want to help me complete the railway links? It's um... part of my middle term <laughs> investment plans. <laughs> so this cost me one, Paul, I'm correct. But I can up any of, any the, of the tracks by one. Put that one up. Contract. I'm going to take that one for having two mines, and I'm going to put it. That's for having two factories. Uh, five, six is the next one. Could be worth it. Um, no, I'm going to have another word. Okay. So I mentioned earlier on that um, there is an advantage to completing uh, a, a railway line of, of two or three. There is also a little bit of a player interaction in that multiple players can cooperate together to helping complete a line. And that actually benefits both of them, because in order to have the city as part of your network, you don't need to own the entire railway line. As long as you own a part of it, then your counter is connecting to both cities. So you can get some nice player collaboration there with the building of the railway lines. Okay, so I think I'm going to take another contract because this is so good. 
So I'm going to place that there. My worker income goes up by one. I'm going to take a contract, get double the bonus and another star. So it's going to be five stars. And I'm taking... I should have done that. I still could. Can I? Can I really? That would be awesome if I could. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this. So this is a contract for building one government building. I'm going to put it in there. So that gets me five stars. Two doubled plus my one. Right. I'm done. I need to get um, some money. I'm going to place that, which moves him up to there. And it gives me a building at a discount, which is going to be... Um, I'm going to build that house for three. Where is it going? There. The only place you can build it. And that's my go. I am going to take this one. It's doing this action over here. Take that one. Three. Uh, I'm not going to pay for a second. One that goes here, and then I'm going to do industrialize. I'm going to build this mine that cost me two workers, which gets me two points. I build it with two uranium because it's my thing, it costs me two money, which is this one. But because I'm building it here, oh, I assume that means I get an extra uranium. Yes. So some of the spaces have bonuses on them. So the way that this works is that it's your second line. Yep. So we've got two. So you've got two. And then one. And you built it on a space, which means you get three. And then you put that three wherever you want on your mines. Your mines are limited. Um, so you start the game with three, a two, a three, and a two. And that's the that's not the, what they come with. That's the amount of uranium that you can store on them. Because I've now got two mines i've got this contract i get two more points uh dark mighty saying why does the track have yellow factories below them two money left if you mean this this means that once you've moved your markers up you don't just get money you actually get points as well so the yellow it's not a factory it's just a slash it means you actually get money and points and this is workers and points whereas this bottom track is just points Sorry, I should have. Do you mind if I complete a contract okay. on your last turn? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've got two purple buildings. Okay. So on your last turn, when you placed this, yes, I was you could have to... completed a contract because you've got two, two turbines in purple. You've got two buildings in purple. Yeah. And I'll do this one. Okay. So that's every time you energize a building, you're going to get one money. And I'm going to get a. That's the technology I get for that. So yeah, yeah that's that done. Okay. And now it's your go. Me again. I think so. Okay. Because um, I... I don't know. I, I've lost track. <laughs> no. Ben Ben went, didn't you? Yeah, I've just gone. She'll go. So is it me? Yeah. Yeah, don't... don't oh, I was that. explaining the workers' things. Yes. Uh, right. So, you'll like this. Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, Paul Daniels. But actually, no. I'm, am I going to do the... No... Oh, it's so good. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to use this worker, and I'm going to put it on there. So there is no colour match at this end. No. Nope. But there is at that end, which allows me to develop. Uh, just count of one. So I'm going to develop that tile, because I love that tile. What one was it? It's oh, two yeah. wild cards with yeah. two track increases. Uh, and then that flips over, yep. and now does it work? No, it doesn't. Okay, you'll go. I I had a a very cunning plan. <laughs> okay, well, since you keep going on about it, I'm okay. going to put that railway in here. Hey, 
Right, so yeah. let's let's just show this because this is quite exciting. So this is Pete helping complete the network here. So this was this was the situation, uh, and Pete's gone in here. Now what that's done is it has color matched here because this is a wildcard, so it's going to color match it. So you're going to get to do that action. It's color matched here. So you're going to get to do that action. And then after you've done your actions, I get to do that action. So which one of these would you like to do first? Do you want to energize with a plus one electricity or do you want to industrialize? I think I will energize with the plus one electricity okay. first. So where would you like to try and... Well, I only off? have one building. Okay, so it's going requires to be, four electricity. It's going to be that one. Which power plant are you using? That one. This one? And so I you think, can only take coal at the moment. Yep, and we're connected to coal. Yep, because we've got it over there. Because it's not technically, so yep. it doesn't yep. really matter. Yeah. So uh, I have two free electricity to start with. Yeah. So you're just buying two. Um, because I just wet my finger and stick it in the air on a thundery day. Uh, and <laughs> don't try this at home. And I've got a discount of one. Yeah. So you buy two coal. So I buy two coal, and I only. Oh no no no! One only one because you're generating one electricity. Oh yes, free. that's right. So you buy one coal. Which I get a discount of one, so it so doesn't cost free. me anything. Um, and that's four electricity. Four electricity, so I flip that one. That. You gain four stars. And Rainbow Man goes up two. Income of workers goes up by two. And then. Doesn't one of Paul's text give him something when he plays the tile? Yes, thank you very much. I forgot it again. I knew I would. And I get. That's why I did it. And I get a coin because I've just energized a building. You have. Uh, now I get to do the other thing. And the other thing is going to be placing a uranium mine over here. Oh, the other thing from your yep. railway tile is. Uh, where's that going? Oh, because you can. Yep. You're connected to this city. And I'm, this in, city. I'm in here now since you invited me in. You're spending two? I am. Spending two. And it's your first mine. No, it's your second mine. Yep. So you can put it there and you get four uranium. Two because it's your second one and two bonus. Now, three of it can fit on there. Yeah, we'll squeeze some extra uranium in. Can fit on there. We can just keep it in the car park in the back of a transit van. Done. And okay. is that what have you just built? I get five, you get five points, points immediately. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and. And, oh, hang on a minute. You then get to do... Yeah, so we've done that. We've now done that. I get to industrialise. Yep. Oh, my. Well, The, this, the this, mining's good in Carlsbad. This has completely thrown my entire plan out. Well, you kept going on about wanting me to do that. I know, but I was about to do something cool. <laughs> it's got... I can't not do it. It's too good. It's got to be done. I spend the worker. I build that mine. I get one point. I spend two coins. And I get... Why did you spend a worker? Oh, because it costs you. Oh, of course. Did it you spend it. a worker? Yes. I think you did. So that goes on there. That gets me two uranium. Uh, did you give me my point? You didn't. There you go. Okay. I think we got it right. Oh. Those flip now? Those now flip. Now, I did mention that there was a bonus for completing railway lines of size two and three. And for completing a uh, size two, all players who contributed move their victory point income marker up by two spaces. So I'm really, really sorry, but I can't remember if I had those two workers and spent them to do that. Okay. They're sitting there, but I just can't remember if I did it. I right. don't know if anybody was watching. Okay, let me just check back. Dark Mind says one point to Paul. What what have I done? You said it's okay, it's there. You 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 forgot to put it on, but you have put it on. Oh, you mean my star? Yeah. Right. Uh -oh. So we're not sure if Pete spent the two work the two Because if I workers. didn't, we're gonna have to undo the whole wretched exercise because I couldn't have been able to afford it. Well, let's let's look to see if you did. Unless anybody else, unless anybody else knows, I'm just going to scrub back on the video. 
So what was it you built? It was the mine, wasn't it? It was the mine. It was the mine. So I'm going back and I'm going back. Where is it when you build the mine? Oh, there we go. There you go. So I don't think you had the workers. I didn't have the workers. It doesn't look like you had the workers. So I have to have that mine back. Let, let's let fudge it because I don't really want to undo all of that. Well, I could just not build the mine. You still get to do yours. And so I just get the mine back and it goes back there. And that's, that's my fault. So I lose the four uranium. So you lose the four uranium. My mine goes back. Your mine goes back. You don't get the five points. Um, I don't know what's that going to look like on your video. Are we going to have to... No, because we fixed it. Anything we fix during it... I mean, I, I, yeah. Which means I could build there. Yeah, so you get an extra... So I get an extra one. Sorry about that. You had one at the start of your turn, but you used it to build a railway. Right, we're all good. Thank you very much for checking. Uh, and you need two money back, apparently. Oh, yeah, because you just paid the two money for there. Thank you. Right. So we've mostly fixed it. Did you move your two that up twice? Because you've contributed to this. I don't think you have. I haven't, no. no. There you go. Okay. Okay. Recharge. Second recharge. Five right. money. Three workers. Yep. Yeah. One point. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. How many stars have you got? Six. six. Do you want to go on the six? Yep. Please. There isn't another Day of the King. You lose all of your things. Go you on. get your tiles back. Thank you. Your go is done. Right. So I can't do the thing that I wanted to do, which was to build a tasty government building. But I'm trying to work out if I can energize. I need three electricity. I have no way of generating my own electricity. So it would have to be coal. It would be three coal. I get a discount of one. So that's going to cost me two. So I can do it with this tile. Because this tile will get me the money that I need to buy the coal to then energize that building. I think that's what we're going to do. But am I going to put this as a rail? link oh, I could oh but I need to put it I need to put it next to both I need both of these to connect which means it's going to have to be a size one link so I'm going to do it I'm going to put this here I am going to workers that's why I recharge <laughs> I am going to spend the uranium as if it was a worker so I'm going to use a uranium to get a worker. I'm then going to put that there. I'm going to put a worker on it. So whenever I place a railway, I get a star. And now I get both of those. I'm going to take the bottom one first, which gets me two money. And then I am going to provide electricity with this building here. So I need three electricity. So here's where the example gets a bit more interesting. So I'm trying to provide electricity to this building here. So I've got to work out which power plant I can use to get the electricity here. And it's got to be this one. It can't be this one because you, you can't connect through Poland okay, yeah. for electricity. I don't think you can anyway. Um, so I'm going to have to use this power plant. The electricity can go from here through here, through here, into here. It doesn't matter that this is owned by Pete. It can, the electricity can go along anybody's lines. So that's the power plant that I'm going to use to generate the electricity. So I need to get the coal to it or the uranium. Now, I don't have any uranium. You can't use anybody else's uranium. So I'm going to have to import the coal from Poland, send it down here to here, turn it into electricity, then send the electricity up there along here to here. And I need three. I don't get any bonuses. Nothing. Nope. So I need three coal. So that would normally cost me three. But because I've got this turbine built, I've got a discount of one. So it costs me two. And then I flip that over. So that gets me three stars. One money income. 
and my money income goes up by one. That gets me three stars. Uh, so I did that, and I did that, and then that flips over. And I already got the star for placing a railway link, so we are done. I still only have one money, but I have ten stars now. What does that mean? That is any two buildings in different coloured cities. There is a small rainbow okay. not equals to sign. It's not that, it's not that clear. <laughs> I don't know if they made that clearer in the final version. And when it says buildings, does that mean these or does it mean these? Uh, it's it's the square, so it's ah, it's okay. an urban building yep. in two different coloured cities. Okay. Uh, fun for everyone says can you mention again how the recharge is limited didn't understand it first time around absolutely so what i'm going to do now is let's say for example just for you i'm going to zoom in on this part of my player board if i was to recharge now because i've only got two tiles it effectively limits me to there so what i would do is I, if i recharged now i would get seven money three workers five money Sorry, five money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at seven. <laughs> five money, yeah. three workers, and two points. If I recharged now, if I wait another turn until that's there, then it's here. So I would get five money, three workers, and a point, and then another two points. So effectively, you need a chopstick. The game doesn't come with one, so you need to provide <laughs> your own. And however many tiles you've got, that provides the limit on how it works. Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Definitely going better than our last game. I, I feel it's going better than our last game, for me anyway. I've not completely I messed definitely it up. Want to do so I want to do 20 different things at the minute, Yeah, which is the first game you yeah. kind of play. I don't know what to do. I'm going to place this, um, and I'm going to take this mm -hmm. and put it here. Put it here, which gets me a worker. Um, and then move my coin along. That's my go. Got one, so I'm going to energize. I get one for free. Get one electricity. Two, two off the board. Three free electricity. So I just flip that three. Yeah. So three stars. Three stars. Money income goes up one. Bottom action is um, industrialized. Industrialized. Three workers. Oh, it's a big one. That one. And they call it a mine. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> And two, and I need another another one uranium because it's your third one, so it comes with three. You spend two coins to put it there. I have just about two. That's that. That's that. I am literally. Bored. Did you want to put it there, or did you want to put it there? Uh, I will put it there because <laughs> that's free. Yeah. See it. Uh, that's it. You got three mines out. Because in the last game, one of the mines was when Endgame scoring one, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, my go. I need four money. Can I get a loan? I'd like a loan, please. We've got 11. I'll lend you a 200% income next turn. <laughs> what is this? Wonga.com? Um, interest. Nobody's powered any of the neutral buildings yet. We, we did that in the last game. But at the moment, there's a neutral building in Prague. Nobody can get power to Prague. There's two neutral buildings in Dresden. Nobody can get any electricity to Dresden. And where's the other neutral building? Here, in Zviku. Nobody can get any electricity there. So we've got the neutral buildings that anybody can provide electricity for, but nobody's connected them. I'm, I'm just going to place this tile because it is nice and easy. I just increased two of my tracks. So I'm going to increase that one. And I'm going to increase that one. That's my good Similarly. That one. And that one. Okay. Yep. I'm going to do this action. I'm going to take one contract, which is the two factory one. I'm going to place it in there to get me a worker. The second action is the industrialize that's a discount of discount one, worker. one worker there's two workers i need three workers which i'll use a uranium so uranium as if it was a worker yeah there's all three workers that's that one get that 
Two. Now, this is a good bit. This is the good bit. So what Ben's done is he's actually built both of these from the bottom of his board. And that, instead of points, that gives him a level three technology. Now, each player has two level three technologies. One of them is purple, and that is an end of game scoring technology, which can be worth up to 21 points. The other one is not an end game scoring technology, but is a really powerful ability. And is that the one you're going for, Ben? Yep. So what does yours do? Energize actions, ignore network requirements. So the thing that I was just saying <laughs> that nobody could do, yeah. Ben can now do. Can now. So you've basically invented wireless electricity. Yeah. And you can now do the energize action anywhere. and send that electricity to anywhere. You still need... I've still got to be connected to the power plant. Do you still need to connect the uranium and the coal to the power plant? It just says energize actions, ignore network requirements. So I think Completely. no. Completely. Yeah. So you've got like helicopters that, that fly Flying stuff around. In a wireless, wireless coal. So what are you? Your D... No, C. C7. So all of the technologies are explained in the book. It says during energize actions, you can transport coal, uranium and electricity, ignoring network restrictions. So you can use any one power plant on the board and you can energize any building that is not connected to that power plant. So yeah, literally it's as it says, you completely ignore. Wow. Yeah, it's all right, no. <laughs> it's not bad. That's all right. Okay, right. Now then. What am I gonna do? I think I might recharge. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna recharge. So I get six money. I get four workers one two three four and i get three points one two three okay i've got 10 stars so i will place this on the 10 which is in that section so i get to place this now what do we want chuck saying yes flip it face up flip what face up well this so oh, because it's a yeah, it's yeah, a permanent yeah. one. It's not a one-off. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to go here and get the extra worker. Okay, so done that. We haven't emptied a stack, so there isn't a day of the king. Done that. Done that. Get these back. Done. But you can only ever energize one billion at a time, though. Yes. This is another super duper action. I don't think there is. But... That would be crazy powerful, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. So just to recap, you've got two buildings out, both of which you have energized. Yeah. I've got two buildings out, one of which I have energized. Pete, you've got one building out which you have energized, and none of us have energized any of the neutral buildings yet. Okay. Right. Uh I'm gonna do this. This action at a discount. I'll take that one, three, and then I will take um, I won't take the other one. Or actually, I get a discount, don't I? I really want to use it. Uh, if I can, it's still going to cost me two. Oh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll take this one and it will cost me two. And then I will do this. I've, now, this time I'm going to get it right. You've got a worker. I've got a worker and I will use a uranium, that as, one. As another worker, not mine. As another worker. To two workers. And I'll build that factory. Yeah. In there. In there. Cost me two. Many. Get you three uranium. Where do you want to put that through uranium? Because you can split it between your mines. Uh, I'll put it all there. Um, and I... and you get your five points now. And now I get the we'll five points. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And then I complete this. Um... So you need to have four cities in a network. Oh. 
There's, you've got two in this network. Oh, it's got to be in the same network. The same network. Oh, so you've actually got three cities in that network. Okay. But not four. Yeah. It's got to be four in, in a network. All right. So that's the end of my go. The government building is also the building that it is. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Because if you look at the artwork, it's the government building with the thing next to it. So I'm going to do... I think this is what I worked out. Do you that can't one. do the thing that I am about to do, which is good. I'm going to build <laughs> that one, which is a government building. Yeah. Five. There. I have to put it there instead you of there. You have to put it there. If, yeah. there's, if there's a single icon, you've got to cover the single icon, if possible. I've got to put it there. Yep. Because it's a factory as well as a government building. You now have two factories. Is that what that is? Yep. These two. Yep. So you've completed that contract. Two points. A level one, so every time I power something up, I get a money. Yep. That goes there. I'm now going to power up. Right, yep. That needs... Ten, ten. electricity. I've already got... Three for free. Three, six, nine, ten. Right, okay, let's go through this. <laughs> yeah, because right? we're having our big building and we're having our first use of uranium. So you want to you want to generate electricity to power this building? Yeah. Ah. Hang on a minute. Hang hang on a minute. How are you building in I Dresden? I don't need any network requirements, do I? To power it. To power it, but to build it, you do. Yeah, you needed my tile. Yeah. You can't build that in Dresden, unfortunately. That's because I'm one go ahead. So yeah. Okay. That's fine. Glad I kept everything. And one go ahead of us. Right, okay. I, knew, I knew I had that one and then not the next one. So that You've undone it, you've got your money back. No, no, because I can do this, which allows me to build. Oh right. Yeah. See what I mean? So gotcha. We need to put a worker on it. That's right. Which is a uranium. So spend a uranium as a worker. Put, put the worker there. You are have now connected to both of these. Have spent the money already. Spent the money. Because the government there. building goes there. You just can't power it. You can't power it this time. But you also, because that's a colour match, you get a worker or two money. That I've already taken to get in the two buildings. I'll get another worker. Yes. Okay. Yes. And we're ready. Yes. And you're going to power it next turn, and then we'll see. Then we'll see the powering of a building using coal and electricity. So this was flipped, wasn't it? Yeah. Flip that back. Okay, my go. Well, I'm now going to build the building, and I'm going to build a government building myself. <laughs> Um, except I was going to go there. Sorry. Two. I mean, there's two neutral factories there. That's that's awesome. We'll explain government buildings in a second once Ben has powered it. Because um, understanding how government buildings work is quite important to end game scoring. So. This might end up having to go somewhere else although i do need i need tracks on the board for my objective but this is white that's why it needed to go there is there an orange you know there is I'm best mm -hmm. <laughs> okay right well i'm gonna put this this is not gonna work at all i want to connect this through to here it's gonna take forever um, well, no, because this is connected, yeah? So you've only got to connect these two. Not with my network, though. Oh, no, I thought you meant for electricity no. to power that up. What I thought you were talking about. The, yeah, true, but I also want I want mm -hmm. this to be part of my network, because I'm planning to build a government residence here. It's going to be a big, long thing, isn't it? But we'll try it. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put a worker on it, building a railway. Because I've built a railway, I get a star. And because there's a colour match in Prague, because it's a wildcard, I get to do the urbanised action with a discount of one. 
So I spend four money and I build the government residence there. Nice. Nice, nice. And I can't complete that because I placed a railway on the board rather than putting it above my board. That's fine. Hey, you'll go. Uh, just so everybody knows, the silver contracts have now run out. There are no more silver contracts available. So what happens is whenever one of these silver contracts gets taken, it's actually replenished with a gold one. So the gold ones are going to start populating this area. And it's only when the silver ones and the gold ones have run out that you, you see the flag. And if anybody knows what flag that is, is that the Saxony flag? Please let me know. It does look familiar, but my knowledge of these things is limited. And we're also, as soon as Pete recharges, it's going to be another... Very similar to the flag that, the king. that boats put it up when a scuba diver's in the water. Is it? It's similar to that. I don't think it's the same, though. <laughs> um, it would be a coincidence if it was. Right, I'm going to play this. Yep. Um, and... Urbanise with a discount of one. Now, can I... Yeah, urbanise with a discount of one, but can I um, industrialise using two, two uraniums? Because uranium. I've got no... So two uranium as two workers. Put that there. You spend those two workers to place that. Yeah. And then discount of one, place that here. <laughs> Stuart is saying we need to send a question to Fun with Flags. Yes, we do. <laughs> goes there Carlsbad. Um, and that's my go that's a laboratory in Carlsbad I'm doing this one I'm moving up my rainbow worker man one doing this action I'm running uh, out of action tiles I'm taking this which costs me one money just that one I'm not sure don't think I need anything else yeah that'll do for the moment Thank you. Yeah, the problem that I've got Me done. is because I'm building lots of tracks on the board, Run I'm, out I'm running out of action tiles. But I'm going to place that one there because I love that tile. And I'm going to increase that income by one and that income by one. And because I've placed a tile above my board, I can complete a contract. So I'm going to complete this for having one government building. My victory point value goes up by two. Any points? Nope. But I get a level one technology. Now, do I want this? This is a one-off. I can industrialise anywhere on the board. So why wouldn't I do it? So one of the things that you can do whenever you're gaining a technology, you can say, I don't want the technology, and you can get points instead. And you get one point per level of the technology that you forego. But I, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that. So I get to do one industrialise action anywhere on the board, doesn't have to be in my network. Now, whether I make it part of my network or not is another another question. Because that's quite nice. Six electricity. How are we going to get that? Six. That's eight. Isn't it? Sorry, eight. Mm. I'm thinking six because I'm probably going to get that, which is the two. But but even still, that's a lot of electric. I mean, there's all this coal. This coal can just come down here. Uh... Well, Ria, is it still your turn? It's my turn. Right. I was following that. And I'm... What am I doing? I'm doing something. I completed a contract, and that contract gave me technology, and that, to that technology is allowing me to industrialise anywhere on the board. And the problem is it's given me the option of industrialising anywhere Ah, I think I might need to take a turbine just because the turbine spaces are running out. Do we have points for turbines? We don't. But I'm I'm gonna Oh, do I do that one or that one? I'm gonna have to do that one. So I spend two workers, I'm gonna build this turbine here. Because my technology allowed me to build it anywhere. Right, I'm done. Oof. Right, Paul Kelly is saying it is similar but not quite the flag of Trinidad and Tobago. 
Rasmus is saying, point from building both mine and round power thingy. Uh, me or Pete? Because I've just built that one. Did I just build one of these? Well, I just spent two to build that one, I think. Yeah, so I, th I don't think we got it. I don't think we missed it. Um... Hmm. Definitely need more tiles. Yeah, he's querying whether you've missed a point, but I, th I think you got that one a while ago. I think you're right. I think I did. Um, okay, what am I going to do? Well, I think uh, I think I need to energize. Question is how, how, where, and why. Well, it's going to have to be. Um, one, two, three. Yeah. Well, I'll just put that in there. I won't do that because I don't have the money for it. But I can energize. Mm -hmm. I've got two free. You've got the money if you need it. Because that could become a worker, which could become a father. Oh, I see. Okay, no, but I'm not going to. Okay. So I get two free energy, and then I'm going to burn coal here. So you get a discount. But I've got a discount of three when yeah. importing coal. So I only need to burn one. It doesn't okay. cost me anything. So that coal comes down into here. Yes. You've got two free electricity. The electricity then goes to here. Oh, you needed, wasn't it? That's it. You get three stars, and you get a level one technology. That level one technology, before I forget, now I get a bonus because I've just powered. Yep. Energized. Now, that level one technology is going to be this one. Which is to urbanize so with a discount of two. With a discount of two. And then you flip it over because it's used. Right, so urbanize with a discount of two. Um, Can't urbanize here because it's full. You could urbanize here, but it's going to cost money. And you could urbanize here as well. But that's the only place that you can urbanize. And for this one, I need to be put urban. I need to be putting a building of some kind. No, no four cities. You don't you don't together. need any buildings in those cities. You just need to have four cities in your network. Right. So I need okay. So I need to expand my network to include another city. Yeah. And it's got nothing to do with having buildings. In no. There. Whereas this one is to have two two buildings in different colored cities. Different colored two cities. Two urban buildings in different colored cities. Well, I've got that. So you I? have an urban building in a purple city and an urban building in a, in a green city. So, so you've already, done that one. I've already done that yeah. one. So I can complete so you do that, that one. Yeah. Gets me three victory points and two money. Yeah. One, two, three. And that two money, you could use one of it. Where did I get those four from? I just got four money. I don't know. Doing something. Because you said you had no money. Yeah. Um, uh, I said four stars. Did you take four money instead of four stars? Uh, or did I take money for? No, that was that was a no, while. That was ago. a while ago. So I what did I do? I energized that building. Well, I said three stars. So I don't know what you took. We could, I can look back unless anybody knows. Yeah, you had no money. You had no money. You had four stars. You're pointing to that. So I've energised that. I, I'm talking a bit. I've energised that. Yeah, we flip it over. And I get three. So I should have had three I stars. I say three stars. And I shouldn't have had. And you took four money. Okay. Three. And you took three money. So I and then you took an extra money. Ah, so you got the extra money. For that, oh yes. So you should have one money. It should be one money. One money. One money only. Yeah, but now I get two for this. Yeah, and now if you wanted to, you could do that second action. There we go. We're all good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yep. Thank you again for checking. Energize. 
So I'm energizing for one pool. We're going to use all the uranium up now. Yeah? Oh, this is Not this is where we get to do the big example. So first of all, you want to power up this building. Yeah. This requires ten electricity. Yeah. So you choose a power plant, which is going to be this one. Yep. And we need to first of all work out how the electricity is getting to there. You've got a special ability that you can teleport it. Miracle, yeah. If it weren't for that, you wouldn't be able to do it because you would need a route through. Then what you need to do is you need to get the coal and the uranium to here, which again, normally you would need a route, but you've got teleportation. So you're going to send how much uranium? So we've got one automatic. We've got one free energy for your... And power. another three is four. So you've got four free electricity. Two, you need six more. Two uranium because uranium creates three each. Yeah. Really. So just two of your uranium. That's ten. Now, the power plant itself can convert one, and you've got a turbine that can convert another. So there's ten electricity. One. So your income goes up by four. Your money income goes up by four. You gain ten stars. Big play. And we now get to explain how that works, and then we'll come back to the chat because somebody spotted something in the chat, but will explain how this government building works. So government buildings are a big part of the game. And if you look carefully at the tile, you will see that at the end of the game, it's going to score two points for every factory in its network. So in the same network as that building, then he's going to score two points for every factory. Now, doesn't mean his own factories. It can be anybody's factories, including these two. So these two factories are, because they're in the same city, by default, they are already part of that network. So you're currently getting six points for this. But well, this, this doesn't connect here into this network, So does it? you're red. So this is also part of your network. And there is a factory there. Yeah. So it's the fact that it's my factory doesn't matter. I've got to, use, I've got to fill in your forms and your paperwork. So you're going to get another two points for that. Yeah. But your network doesn't extend across that. So your network is currently yeah. this. If I could connect it up here, we'd get another one. If you can connect it to there, that's another factory. And if you can connect it to here and stuff like that. So with the government buildings, you want them to be in a large network containing lots of those types of buildings. Right, Pete, apparently you were in the middle of another action. It was, because I'd unlocked that. And that was the point when we all realised that I got everything wrong. Okay. So um, I've got. Thank a you for spotting it. Pre urbanisation with a discount of two. Um, Keep my finger here because I've only done half one. So I can put that there at a cost of two. Yep. Uh, we get a discount of two. Yeah. Oh, so the two was for the building. Yeah, so and the total cost would, would have been four. Right, got it. Okay, so we finish your turn. Yeah. Then we do Ben's turn. So you've done your Top energizing. Bit. I'm just doing the bottom bit. And you get a coin for energizing. Thank you. I keep forgetting that one before. And then the bottom bit is develop. Yeah. And it's my go. I'm going to take that one for one. Oh, sugar. And I've got to. Oh, I've got to do this, haven't I? So doing this is not it's not developing it's not getting me any further i'm seriously running out of tiles and if nobody else is going to complete this i'm going to have to do it otherwise i can't power these and that's not going to get me any points at the end so yeah i'm getting lots of stars but unfortunately i'm not doing much else What's available on the whole development? Eh, nothing. Can wait. So I'm going to place this. I'm going to place it here. I'm going to take a contract. Uh, how many buildings have I got powered? Just the one? That one. Hmm, it's not very good, is it? Oh, but I've done this. Yeah, I've actually done that. But it's a level one technology. I don't want to take that. That's for seven railway lines. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five. But I don't think anybody else is close to that. What about residences? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take this contract. I'm going to put it in there. 
which gets me two four it's five stars again and worker income up by one that's my good over to you pete come to prague you know you want to so if you're if you're powering a building mm -hmm. that building has to be within your network um no it's got to be connected it has to be connected via somebody's network so it doesn't have to be in and so we have two neutral buildings in dresden yes anybody can now choose the energize action and power these buildings because there is a power plant here and there is a connection there so okay. even though you don't own these railway lines you could bring coal in from here down to here and send the electric back to here and power these well let's have a go at doing that then i'm going to choose that double energize action double one energize, of them with a plus one one of them with a plus one so because you've got that turbine you've got one one at two and one at three now i think what i can do is i've got no money you have no money but you do get a discount of three money whenever you are importing coal so three money is no good if i need to spend four but it is good if i need to spend one it depends what you're powering so what i could do let's just think this through yep i could use the free the two free ones mm -hmm. and one here to power one that one here to power that one into here to power that one you could and that would leave me with two discount on coal which would be one um i don't get that again i only get that once i presume I no, can't. every time you energize, oh. every time you perform the energize action, oh. that's two separate actions. So, so uh, you can do this one, and you can probably do that one as well. So I can definitely, I can do that one for free. You can do this one for free. It depends how you want to do it. You probably want to do that using the two free and buying one coal for free. Yes. So yes, definitely. So the normal energize action energizes that. All right, gets you three stars. Three stars. If three stars. Stars or coins. Stars. <laughs> It gets you one coin because of that and it gets you one income money because of that so that money, yeah so that's that action done you've now got that action okay which is so you've got two free electricity one for it so you've got three electricity currently three so all I need to do is buy is one of coal. those coals. You get a discount of three. So I don't have to pay for it. No. That just goes. So that gets removed. In the bin. Yep. Gone. And I power this one, which gets me four stars. Um, and two coins. Two coins and three. Three income and that gets flipped and then that gets flipped over and it was there wasn't it it was there yeah so that neutral building has been energized and you get a coin for energizing the building good turn very good turn okay. i suspect you might be recharging at Possibly. some point soonish well we might be going down a to lot the, of income yeah. now we might be going down to the duracell factory later on other batteries are available Okay. Right. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Gonna get that energy. Go there. Okay. I'm not entirely sure at the minute why. We'll find okay. out later. Well, you get to do a contract action. Let's get to do a contract, which is that one. Yep. So that gets replaced with the gold one. Um, I've already got that, but I can't claim it yet. So I'm going to start. 
A lot of stars. 15. Nice. Okay, so if I can build a residence, which I can, but where I can I build that? In. No. So where am I? I'm I'm in here, I'm in here. I could build there, but it's gonna cost two extra. I'm in prod, but that's gonna cost two extra. That's full. I'm in there, but that's gonna cost two extra. Ah, here. I can build a residence here. Oh, it's probably worth it. Right, let's do it. So I'm gonna play that there. I'm gonna build. It's gonna cost me three money to build this residence here. I'm then gonna complete this contract, which gets me three points. And a level two technology. Right. Now then. <laughs> Is that that's every time I do that, I get that. That's very good. That is very, very good. Or do I get the free action tile, which is immediately placed as a track, which is also very good. And that would open up that and get that. But there's no residences there yet. There might be. OK, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Right. So I'm going to get a level two technology. It's going to be this one. This is a one-off ability to take any tile for free and place it on the board. Oh, nice. Thank you. Green, and put a green. worker up and worker on it. Green, green. Okay, so those slide down. That goes to there. That flips over. Now, I just need to remind myself, I don't think I've done that action yet. So this was all urbanising. Built that. That got me my third thing, which got me the contract. The contract did the technology. The technology got me that, which put it there. I'm now going to trigger these two things because they're both colour matches. So I get two worker income. And I get to develop with a minus one. So I will take that one. And I'm not going to take another one. And then Ben, you've Just done, you've done yours. Flipping. But it's done out of the way. We have now completed that, which means we both move our victory point markers up by two. Done yours? Yeah. Is that your first one? Right. Yeah. And then I'm concentrating, so I'm just trying to Then I've still got my actual develop action and I've got no money. So I'm going to take that one. Wow, that was a big combo turn. I think I got that right. I think I got that right. You go, Pete. I'm just checking the chat. And in the purple near Leipzig. Oh, somebody was answering a question. And yes, there are more silver and more gold in the game, and you don't use all of them depending on the player count. And we got these. <laughs> 17 stars, no chance. Eight contracts, no chance. Six buildings in orange. I got I got none. What what can you use this for? Any of the five actions. You can only do one contract per, per turn. turn. Yes. From your board or in anywhere? Anywhere. So you can either do one that's in there or you can do one of these. Are you getting close to this one? One, fifteen. Nice. Very nice. So if I go there mm -hmm. and use it to energize. Yep. I can energize that one. Which one? That one? Yeah, just for free, easily. Yeah. You could energize far more than that. But I haven't got, there isn't anything else for me to okay, energize. Because yeah. so. you get such a discount yeah. on importing coal. So that's two stars. It's two stars. Two money, it's, one money income. Yeah, two money plus an extra money. And one money income. One money income. Yeah. And that's another building that's energized okay i'm going now your board is full up which means 
you can still play on here next turn. Nothing to stop you doing that. I'm going to go there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this one first. Which is for having two illuminated buildings, yeah. which you have. Two and two. Two points too many. First of all, build. This it's one. another government building. Two, three, four. Is it going here? What's, well, what's a government building for? A factories. So I'm thinking factories? there. Not factories for um laboratories. Laboratories. Okay. Thinking there. Uh, I mean there are no laboratories. And there's none here either. In that network. Or there. So there's none there. So I'm going to go there. So it's currently no points, even if you energize it. No points. Oh no! It is itself. At the end of the game, that is the only laboratory in its network. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think where else to put it because there's no laboratories. Yeah, if you want a government building, there's no others. Or I just put. Well, you just put a normal factory. Yeah, well, there is a reason I'm doing this one there. Okay. And that. Now I'm going to energize. You spent the five coins. Yep. So that goes there. Now I'm going to energize. You're going to energize. I get three for free. Three electricity for free. For six, nine, twelve. Just wow, twelve stars. Yeah, I need ten. It, it's making those people that played this game this ten afternoon more. look like absolute <laughs> amateurs. I have ten more stars, please. Ten more stars. But then I'm also getting. Is that just upgrade any of them? Three. That is three upgrades. Now I don't know if it's three individual upgrades or one upgrade three times. I think it's any three. Uh, Chuck is saying pathway was for residential buildings. Oh, have I got something wrong? Pathway was for residential buildings, not pathway. The purple is in your network. The purple is in your network. I'm not sure. Are we talking about this one? Something not, pa not pathway was for residential building. So something was for residential building. Yeah, you might need to be uh, use different words. I'm not understanding what you're saying because we've moved on a bit since. So. So somebody, I think what he's saying is that somebody's built something on somewhere that was for residential building, and so they maybe they shouldn't have been able to do it. That's not residential building. That's the only thing I've built for a while. Mm -hmm. It was when you were looking for a place to build. Oh. Okay, yeah. I, I, yeah. I so it's, I don't think it's something you've done. It's something oh, okay. that you were looking at maybe doing and wouldn't have been able that's to. That, that's that. That's the end of my go. That's 27 stars that you've got. I know. I need it's one more. Huge. I need one more. It's huge. But apart from getting the here, this doesn't get me 27 points or these don't get me points at the end do they no but it just you go into this segment you get a level three technology yeah and it means you're going to get six points per factory at the end of the game yeah Bond. could be huge yeah and just a quick note for those people watching if you ever get 40 stars you immediately get nine points when you go onto that space you immediately get nine points the maximum stars i've seen in a game so far i think i got 34 in in one of my games my go Right. So, electricity. If I do that, that's three for free. I get one discount on coal, so that's effectively four. But I can't get power here because I don't have your super wireless tech. No. So me energising is actually not good at the moment. I need to build more track. That's what I need to be doing. But it's really tricky. Mm, you haven't got any tiles. I got I got three tiles. It's not enough. Need more tiles. I've got that one coming out of my ears over here. Yeah, you, went, you went for loads, didn't you? Right at the beginning. Mm. I've watched that thinking, oh, oh, I thought you were gonna take all the good. But time. also if nobody help if nobody completes this, this this is my problem at the moment. I cannot get electricity into Prague until this route is complete on this once this route is complete then this power plant which i've got uranium here ready to go 
So I need to be completing this because nobody else is. Um, so even though I don't really want to put more titles on the board, what can I do to convince you two to help complete this? Is it of any interest to anybody else? Silence. Oh dear. Michael's in the chat. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. It's going there. No, it's not going there. Because the problem is I'm going to use the worker to do that, which means I then don't have the worker to do that. I mean, I could use the uranium, but I kind of need the uranium for... Uranius. Yeah. It's for providing power. Now, so I, I, could buy some, I could buy some more tiles with this, but I'm running out. So we get, we're getting close to recharge territory, which would be my third recharge. Wow, that came quick. And I've only got six stars. Ugh. Right, it's going to go here. I get, but, yeah. I'm going to buy that. Because it's a discount of one. I'm going to buy that. That's it. I can't afford a second one. So that's it. That's my go done. Okay, I'm recharging. So I get 12 F. money. I'm going to have a kingdom day. So you get your income limited by nothing 12 money so it's a total of 12 points four workers four workers so four 12. five 12 points right stars how many how many stars have you got 10 16 not quite enough so to get that you can go on 16 or lower 16 you want to go on 16 so your first player to place in this segment so you get to upgrade the one remaining power station. Do you get two money? Two money for it. Um, yeah, I've done it for you. Oh, thank you. And uh, then, because that was the last star removed from that space, we do the Day of the King. Okay. So green gets six, blue gets two. That's why I powered up that extra one, because otherwise we would both have got six. No, it's whoever's the highest. Well, we were both on the same space. Oh, you mean you would have been there? We were both on, yeah. Ah, right, okay, yeah. You lose all your stars, you get all your titles back. Gone. Done, done. Right, okay. We're probably about 75% of the way through now, maybe yeah. 80, because that's... I'm going to be recharging soon. We've got a few more of these. There's still quite a lot of contracts left. Go in here. So as I place this, I'm going to go for the 17. Got 17 stars. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Oh, so that's gone. Do that stuff. What do I get for that? You get four points immediately and you get a level three tech. So that's your end game scoring tech. Yeah. So that's that's done and gone. It counts as one of your completed ones, but oh, it good. doesn't get replenished. Yeah. Okay. So I'm now going to do these two, mm -hmm. which is that one, which cost me one money, which is all I've got. And the bottom bit is. Industrialize. Well, I can't. You've no workers. You've no uranium to use as workers. I don't sorry. Worry. Yeah. You're done. I am going to place that here. Mm. That's a bit of a waste. But oh, it's a double contract. Double A. Which means I'll probably be able to complete it straight away. How many railways have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is not seven. We completed a lot of contracts. We have. Game. Last game. We oh, last game we did. It was yeah. the only thing we did do. Because that ran through really quick. Yeah. Which is massively different from the last game. Yeah. Have I got three urban buildings in different coloured cities? I have. See, that doesn't count as a colour. So I've got one in white. I've got one in purple. No, and that doesn't count. So I can't, I haven't done that one. I could do that one, but the reward is actually not great. Is that still a silver thingy? It's still a silver one. Yeah. It's only a level one tech as a reward. But I can do it. Whereas these two are better 
but I can't quite do that. I'm going to take that one. And it is going to go there, and that's going to get me five stars. Five? Yeah. You've got some bonus. Two, double, no. and every time I oh, place a there. contract, I get one. Yeah. It's my trick. Nice. It's my thing. Okay. So I did that. I placed the contract, and the energize action, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Pretty sure I can't, because I can't. I can't get electricity to here at all, and I can't get electricity to here. So I could have done one of those two. Can you pick a contract up and do it in the same turn? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's be done. Why is Prague a wild card city? Uh, he just is. Yep. <laughs> Okay. That's five for each pair of five for every two train lines you've got on the board. Okay. Round it down. So I I need to get into there because I've got I've got six at the moment. Mm. I'm hoping for more. I'm gonna go here. I'm going to spend three workers. Actually, have I got any uranium left? You have one uranium. Hmm. It's feeling quite lonely. I'll spend two workers and one uranium. As a worker? As a worker. To build that. Actually, I could, if I built that mine. Is that, is that those two? I've just chucked them out. I had four. Oh, right. We might as well always keep the uranium. You think so? Yeah, because uranium can always be used as a oh, worker. Right. Okay. Um, so if I place the mine, I'll get more. It's your third mine, so it will come with three uranium, which you can distribute however you want. Well, oh, so I can use that as. But where can you put it? So you are in this city if you have money off that. Oh, yeah, I'll, can, I, can I go in there, please? Yeah, so it costs you two money. Where two would money. you like the three uranium? Distributed. Um, can I have one here and two there? Uh, and then I get to build somewhere where I can, but I think there's only one place where I can. Um, oh, I can ask that question I had earlier about railways and being able to do contracts. What was the question I had earlier? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, yeah, the question was. I'm just wondering from a rules design point of view, why is it that you can't place a railway on the board and do a contract? I, I don't know. Why can't you power up two cities? You're building in the same city when you deliver electricity. That seems too good. Yeah, it's the same yeah. kind of. I think once that you... That takes a lot of setting up. Once you get going, Mm. I mean, you can produce like ten electricity. Well, you could. I could. I can't you know. could. I've run out of because you've do, because you've you've set it up. You've got the multiple um, turbine. And you had all of the uranium, but now you've powered a couple of big big buildings. Hmm. Let's uh, let's build. Okay, so Michael is saying that there is a technology. Oh, I have a technology. So I have a technology that whenever I place a railway on the board, I can complete a contract. So that's why you can't normally, because it's it's a special ability. So it makes me feel special. Let's place this one here. And that's going to cost me three, because I've got a discount of one. But an extra two for the space. Five. Yep, and that's my go. I'm going to take contract, which is that one. I'm going to complete it. I'm going to put it down there to give me two stars. Yep. I'm going to complete it straight away, which gives me three money. Six points. Three money, six points. That goes there. I can now do. Spend 
spend one win to increase one track. Well done. Yep. Oh, there's a technology that allows you to fulfill a contract yep. whilst... It's that one. Oh, you've got it. It's there. So I need to build a track. Because then I'll have the six and then I'll do the thing and then the thing will work with the other thing. So... Ah! This is a combo. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put that worker on it. And that colour matches there and there. Mm. So, I get a star. I get a contract. That's for having 11 action tiles. No chance. I'm going to take this one. I am going to slot it in... there which gets me a worker and then because i've placed a railway line and i've placed a contract i get two stars so i did that and i did that but i can't complete a contract because i placed the railway line so that's my go done Oh, so okay. close. Go on, you know you want to. Go on. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, you're going to do it? I mean, you get six victory points, six six income. Can you put my surfer guy on there? Is this the first triple track completed? It is. It is, yeah. So we get to explain how that works. Right, so it's a colour match on both ends. So you get to do energise and energise at plus one. So I'm going to energise... There's a this. neutral there, which needs free just so i get that for them for free yeah so you get one worker you get one worker income you get two stars and you get a money okay then you get another energize right so this can be your plus one Yes. So you've got two free electricity, three free electricity. Yep. I need four more. So you can buy three coal for free. Yep. So one, two, three, at the discount three. So the coal comes into here and you need one more. So you spend one money. So four coal has come from here to here. Combined with your three free electricity means you can power that. So you're money income goes up by three so we've never had this before one two three to reach the end so you're going to get 10 points at the end of the game but now if it ever goes up any further you just get one point for every oh, step cool. instead okay so that flips over you get seven stars right so that's that's your two actions for placing the title i now get this action which means i can industrialize with a discount of one right okay so i am going to industrialize with a discount of one so i'm going to spend one worker to industrialize this one and it's going to go there so that actually comes with to three so i get three uranium did we get bonus points or something for we're going to in a second okay yeah i'm just i'm sorry. doing my action sorry it's all right i'm gonna go one two can i put another one on there i can three so you've done your actions i've done my actions this railway line is now completed so when you complete a three stage uh section every player who contributed moves their income or victory points up by two for each segment they're on. So I move up four and you move up two. Okay. Yep. And then that flips over. So now that, that, and that are in both of our networks because we share these railway lines together. Okay. So these three are all in our network. Right. 
Awesome. Gert says, didn't you need to have two workers for taking a contract? Yeah, not sure what you mean, Gert. You don't need... Yeah, and I get the five points for that. I did think about that. Thank you very much for reminding me. 22. Yeah, you don't you don't need you don't need workers for taking a contract. Oh, placing contract in the slot. I think I took one. I think I did. If I didn't, let me know. <laughs> I can I can scroll back. Whose turn is it? It's your go back, I think. You charge. I will uh, I will just scroll back and see. I thought I took the worker. Yeah. I've got no worker. Look, I put the contract in there. Oh, and I took a worker. So I think we're good. No, my, my bonus is only doubled when I play this particular tile, which says my bonus is doubled. And I, I've got two of those, but I got it through a different action. Well, I, I can't remember how I got it. I think it was that which is just a, a normal one. So yeah, you only get double the bonus if the tile says times two. Right. Income. Yep, done those three. You've done, you've done all of your three incomes? Yep. How many stars have you got? 29. You want to go on the 28? Oh, no, I think I'll go, on the, I'll go on the 26. 26, sure. No, 28. <laughs> the only time it would matter oh, is really if you are. actually wanted to get there because that would yeah, be worth more to you than that. that. But by going on the 26, whenever you place in this top section, you get a level three tech. 28. So 28. You've got both of your level three tech. So you can either have three points or, or you can have a level two tech. And some of those level two techs are very nice. Can I come back to that in a minute? Yeah. I'll just keep that in my hand a yep. second. So what else have we done that? Done the 29. No day of the king. Lose all your tokens. Get your tiles back. So this one. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can find one. Purchase a tile without any cost and place it on the map as a railway. So you can place. You take any one of these. You put it on the map. You put a worker on it. And you get to do the two actions as normal. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to place that there. Which means you get to there. do that action. So urbanize at a cost of minus one. That's the laboratory. Yep. All done? Yes. Right, I'm placing that there. I'm going to move my victory point marker up by one, and I'm going to energize with a plus one free energy. So I've got three free energy. I am using two uranium from here. It goes along here, into here. One goes into there, one goes into my turbine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. is so painful I'm sure an energy <laughs> so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to convert that uranium into a worker which goes into a coin in order to spend one coin plus my discount of one to buy the extra coal Wow. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the coal eight is the eight energy that I need, the eight electricity, to flip this over. And that moves this up four spaces. One, two, three, four. Right. So I'm getting two points at the end of the game for every residence in that network, which at the moment is that and I need to build to here even though there's no residences there 
Oh well, Quite that's what I was trying to do. You said earlier, what's that little symbol it's I can't see? Different coloured cities. So three urban buildings in different coloured cities. By now, you've probably done that. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so I played that, which means I can complete a contract. But it's got to be urban oh, buildings. Oh, except I haven't got seven things on the board. One, two, three, four. Three, yeah. No, I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have. I've got seven railway links on the board. So I gain six points. I have six points, please. And a level two tech. Now then, this is interesting because I've got a level two tech that gives me a one-off bonus of eight stars. That would give me, go from 14 to 22. Yes, I'm going to do it. So I'm having a level two tech that gives me eight stars. Done. Bait. I'm stop looking too much. I'm making a decision, put it in my hand <laughs> and stopping. Because I can just sit there and go, no, oh, that one, all oh, that one. All no, that one. No, no, I've done. That's it. Made a decision. We don't have much time left, do we, in this? I, I think it's... No, I don't mind physical time. No, I know. I, mean, I was yeah, just checking okay. to see... Com I was just comparing oh, the right, yeah. run time from before. Let's do that. Because I'm going to be recharging. I've no tiles, so I'm going to be recharging. It's when Pete's going to be recharging next. So can I have a, a uh, victory one. point, please? Yeah, that's only one um, flag, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah. and then I'm going to build my last this turbine. Soon. This isn't soon. No, true. I've got three. Okay. You've got three. We're taking less action tiles or fewer action tiles than we did earlier. Mm. It's going to have to go there. It's getting very... Turbine over there. For money. That costs me three workers. So there's one worker. Which action are you doing? That one. Yeah. So I need one more worker, which is going to have to be a uranium. That one. Two extra really money for going in there. And then I get to Just do this. Spend you two money? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't think I did. I'll... So all your turbines are built. Right, so now I will do this, which gives me a free one-off. No, it doesn't. It means that when I build, I can build anywhere. Anywhere you want at a discount of two. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of my go. Uh, this one, I'm playing this, so I'm going to take that. I'm immediately going to do it, because I've got three. White. You're in white, white green, you're in green, you're in orange. Yeah, yeah. That goes over, that gets me six points. Okay. I'm doing this at a discount of one, where it is one. Get that. Two. Can Six. you build other types of building in here if there's not No. No. Oh. You the, like the blank. No. Oh, okay. One on each? Yeah. Just uh, why not? Look at that. <laughs> well, the mines of Brooks. That's my go done. So I, I have no choice. I have to recharge. So I gain a dismal seven money. Six, seven. I need six. Yeah. However, I gain five workers. One, two, three, four. Five lovely workers. And I gain 20. No, no, no. It's not. Yeah, it is five workers, but I get 19 points. So I'm limited by that action tile. 19 points puts me on 47. Then stars. So I've got, I've got 22 stars. So I spend all of those and I put that on there, which is where I wanted it. So I'm, I'm in the purple segment now. Uh, there isn't that, there isn't that. I get tiles back, Pete. You'll go. So, if I want to build a building with the idea of energizing it, yep. I'm going to have to build it there because uh, I haven't Pete got a point for industrializing 23 points, not 19. I forgot the four points from the top row. Uh, no, my, my blue block is only there. <laughs> yeah, so if you have a look, have a look at my board, that block is there. So I only get seven money. It, it's not there. It's there. But that's that. Um, 
Pete got point for industrialized this time for bottom row. No, no, no. So industri so when, when you get both of the bottom things, you get a level three tech. I did get in, a point. Instead of points. I did get a point, but not for that. Not for that. I got a point because <laughs> I got movement on the coin chart, but I was already at the top. So That's I get why a you got the point. point. Yes. Um, what do we to do? So if I build it's uh, right now, it's going to have to be over there. And if I want to be able to energize it, I've got at the moment, I've got two uranium. Where? Here. Yeah. It's two uranium here. Which could, could go, go into, in, there. Into, into the fire. Yeah. You'd have to pay yourself money yeah. to use it. Yeah. And then there's four coals available. There is four. Well, there's, there's infinite coal available. Ah, oh, you can. Ah, oh, OK. All right. In that case. Um, it just gets more and more expensive. Right. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, four, five. What did I do that for? Four hundred years. Okay. Six, seven. Eight. Running out of fingers. Some borrow some. Nine. Ten. Oh, hold up. At some point, I haven't taken that one money. Probably, one yeah. Money. Just cost of Doesn't matter. Wait a minute. Can't just do it. I've actually got to activate it. I've just got a load of points. Right. Well, where did so, you get them from? When I, I, did a I um, I recharged. Ah, uh, of course you did. When yeah. it was here, yeah, yeah, I gave you nineteen you points. Just, you said I'm going to recharge. Nice. Well, the income right up. Uh, um, but my 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 next recharge is not going to be anywhere near as good because I I don't have many tiles. Are you going to? I, I need to be. I don't know. I might not do another recharge. I need I need to be getting more tracks on the board, and I want to unlock that technology. That's that's what I need to be doing. I just don't know how I'm going to unlock that level three technology. Because that's one way. I can't do that. That's another way. I'm way off that. And that's another way. And I'm way off that. So I'm not quite sure. Because you've done three level three technologies. Yes. <laughs> I've not done any. Um, I've actually got another one coming in a minute. Another <laughs> level three. Where from? <laughs> wow. That, uh, which costs me five. It would have been six but i've got discount of one and i've done that so that's the end of my go i'm doing this one so this is build build this uh, i'm going to put this down before i do anything else i've got eight okay so you complete that contract and you get 12 points yeah i was i was a bit off there uh two purple contracts got sorry 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 can i change that build sorry can i change that i put the wrong one down build that which cost me four. Did I not just put the four down? Did I spend money on here? Yeah. Just thinking I'd recharge a minute ago, no, not in income. Did I not just do four before I went? No, if somebody can. Sorry, is do you want me to rewind the check? Literally like 15. 20 seconds before it came to my go how much money did i have looking like you had six yeah right okay that's fine. all right yeah so that's gone there that is built that gone there so i'm now going to power up michael is saying i was two stars away from it you can also build a lab and energize it i'm going to not sure who he's referring to power up so i'm going to go here 
when I power out by automatic, you get three for free. You've got three free electricity. Yeah. Take two uranium off, make six nine, which is that one. There's your nine. When yeah. I flip that, I get nine stars. Nine stars. One money. Thank you. I would definitely have forgotten. Uh, and a level three tech. A level three tech, which is this one. So Sorry. you're taking a level two tech. Three. You get to do a free energize. Plus four. With, with which you get four free energy. Five, six, seven. It the other automatically one. does that one anyway. Which is income track up by three. Two, three. And another seven stars. Seven and ten. And that. Uh, C6 flips. Yeah. Okay. Done. Well, I've got a million options. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to take a contract. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to put it there, getting my usual five stars. I'm then going to energize. And I think I'm just going to flip this. With my two free electricity, which I'll generate here and send along here. So that gets me two stars and that up by one. Two stars. And I'm then going to complete this contract because I've completed five contracts previously. So that's two points. And a level two technology. And that level two technology is going to be this one. So from now on, every time I lay a track, I get two money. Five buildings in green. Well, yeah, I've got that. You've got that. <laughs> That's any five buildings as well. Six point two workers and a level two. And a level two take. Right, Pete. Oh, now I don't know what to do. I need to get more stars. To get more stars, I need to put more buildings on the board and energize them. I'm going to energize. Which I can do. No, I can't. Oh, fair. I'm going to uranium. Well, I have. It's there. Everything's been powered up, hasn't uh, it? Every... Of yours? Yeah, they're all the neutral ones as well, aren't they? So that one needs eight. Uh, this so one I... hasn't. This neutral hasn't yet been powered up. Okay. Because there's still no way that electricity can get to... Vic out apart from my magic, apart from magic electricity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna power up, energize that one here. Yes, eight, the so eight's coming from two, three. Yep, um, four, five, yep. two uraniums, six, seven, two each. Oh, it's two each, is it? Two each. Oh, seven. I could have gone for that, no more. Um, and a free coal. And a free coal, yeah. I could have gone for a bigger building. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So flip that, and then I get, what do I get? Eight stars, is it? Eight stars. It's this one, was it? Yeah. Have you got eight stars over there that I can have? Uh, yes. Thank you. Eight stars, and your worker income goes up by four. That's going to get you points at the end of the game for residences in that network. And then I'll spend one money to get a victory point. And that's my go. I need. I can do it. No, I can't do it. Apart from getting this one point here, there's no point in doing this, is there? Um, unless you're getting points for turbines, which you don't think there is, so no. Give you a discount on energy. I'm going to do that one. Power up. I get three for free anyway, so I'm going to flip that one. Just throw tennis balls full of electricity at it. 
You get three stars. Yeah, what, anything else? One worker and two worker income. And then I'm going to get that. Right. And... Oh, don't move it down yet, Ben, because I've decided if I'm having the second one. No, I'm not going to. I've only got three money, so I'm not going to. No, I'm done. Okay. I'm going to place this here. I'm going to put a worker on it. Uh, there's a colour match here, so I get to do the urbanise action. I'm going to spend four money before just to build this residence. And it's going to go here. And then because I placed a railway track, I get two money and a star. One star. Two money. Done. I will place that, taking this contract and putting it here. Two stars. And then uh, move one on the income, which gets me a victory point, please. And then I can complete that because I've got two residential buildings. You can turn a worker into money, can't you? Yeah. Uranium into workers and workers into money at any time on your turn. Which gets me that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to use it much every time I place a mine. You can just or... take a point instead of taking a technology if you want to. Can I? It's a level one technology, so you can say, I don't want it, I'll have a point instead. Don't want it, I'll have a point instead. Okay, so you get a point. Thank you. Okay. Doing that one, building that cost me three. Penalty of two for building over here. Two workers. That one. And then increase the main cost. Done. Well, it, it, it pains me to put this down because it's a lovely tile that we, we very much enjoy. So maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe I'll put this one down instead. And then I'll put the other one down. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put a worker on it. So because I've built a railway line, I get two money and a star. And then there's two colour matches. So I get to increase my worker income by one. And I get to do the develop action. And I will take... Oh, there's so many. I've got the money now, but... Which of these actions do I want? Sure, let's take that one. And do I want to buy another one? No, I don't. Okay, getting dangerously close, I think, to... We must have definitely made a mistake somehow earlier. We must. This is I a completely different game. Yeah, I can't work out. I'll just... We yeah. finished earlier, I thought, oh, is that it? <laughs> this is like, okay, yeah, this is... Now yeah. we're thinking... I was a bit worried after this afternoon's game that we played so badly that tonight's stream, not that we played something wrong, that we played correctly, we're just awful at the game. And therefore we were going to do a stream tonight and the winning score was like, what was it, 60 or 80 or something? 83, but I should have had three taken off. So but I was worried that, yeah, we were going to do a, a stream tonight where we all just played really badly and it didn't actually show the game off. As it is, I think we're showing the game off quite well because we're all actually doing something so i'm gonna do this um and yeah triggering all of these five can happen because you trigger two and then in that last round bang 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 yeah it just it just all snowballs yeah i'll take that one at a cost of one i mean we were nowhere near getting any of these to the end i'm gonna have two at the end in a minute I'm not going to take another one. Okay. And that stack is almost almost out. So I'll get two coins. Okay, I go. Where was I? That way and that way. I don't think it's beneficial. Oh, yeah. Look at that. In that way, 
Where can I? I haven't even considered doing this. I haven't looked at building anything for a while. Well, you've got more uranium again. Oh, because you built that fourth mine, didn't you? You came with the four uranium. Oh, you're going to help me finish that. Thank you. Is this going to help me there? I don't know. I think so. It means Prague is going to be. It means you're going to have another network of these two. And then if we both do there. I don't know if we're going to get enough fun with that. No, we might not. So that's connected. <laughs> so I'm going to get two stars there. So you get two stars for that. Yeah. You get to do an energize action. Energize action where I get three for free anyway. Yeah. Have you got anything? Oh, you've got, you've got five there. Three, six. Six. So you get five stars. Another five stars. Money income goes up by two. So you've done that. Yeah. I then do that. Lock. I get a contract. I'm going to take. I don't think I'm anywhere close to any of these. No. These are all absolute rubbish. So I might just have to deny some points to somebody else by taking. I mean, you can do that one. You can do that one. <laughs> you can do both of these. So I'll take I'll take that one. I'll put it there and get myself a uranium. Then we flip them over and we both increase our victory point income track by two. OK, I'm done. Right. You like this? I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put a worker on it. That gets me one star and two money. I then get any two track increases. One, two. Actually, I'm probably best doing that to get two points. Then I get this one, which is to take another contract. So I will take that one now. And I'll put it there, getting another worker. And now this flips over and my money, uh, sorry, my points income goes up by six, which it can't. So I get six more points. There you go. Right. I'm happy with that because my network is now Presnitz, Prague, Carlsbad, Plauen, Johannesthal and Zwickau. It's a big network. Which means that government building is worth a lot. And it doubled because it's in Prague. Right. Now I'm happy for the game to end. <laughs> I've done my plan. Pete, you go. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on. We have had it. There you go. So we've had our first end of game trigger. And I caused it. So, three points so I get three points. There you go. Right. We might only have two more turns left each. Depending on what people do. Interesting. Right. I need and I haven't got any money and I can't do that. I think I need to recharge. Um, that will trigger the end of the yep. game and you will have one more turn. When he triggers, I only get one more go. No, because you finish that round, uh, okay. and then we all get one more turn. Wow. Good. You. You recharge it? Yeah. Okay, so income. You get... 12. 12 money. You get a total of 19 points, and you get five workers. 19. So 52. We then place that. How many stars have you got? Three, six, nineteen. So you can't go into here because you're already in there. Go there. So do you want to go there? Is that better for you than that? I think it is. 
Well, at the moment, I've I've only got four. I've got four, four tracks. Yeah. So that would be that would be eight points if you went there. If you went here, it would be four times. One. It's the two. same. But what are you going to do on your last turn? Are you going to build a railway or are you going to build an urban building? Because that will. But I need to build two railways. Uh, I only need, to, I only need yeah. to build one urban build. So I might as well go down so below. Go down yeah. into that section. Yeah. Because that, that's better for you yeah. than that one. Uh, do the Day of the King. Six points to red. Oh, okay. Not so good. Two points to blue. Spend all of your stars. Get your tiles back. Yeah. Job done. So. Just to remind you two, and for those people watching at home, once the game is over, if you have any stars left... Sorry, so has Peter just triggered that? Yeah. So Sorry, it, yes. It so that goes points. there and you get another three points. Yeah. So, the end of the game has been triggered. We finish this round, then we do one more round. After that, if any player has any stars left, in other words, they didn't recharge on their last turn, then they may take one of their stars from their supply, and put it on here. That does not count as a recharge, so you don't get any of the bonuses. You're literally just claiming an end of game scoring space. If I build a building mm -hmm. but don't energize it, am I going to get for the purposes of that? That's fine. For end of game victory points, am I going to get any for it? That apart from that, no. am I not not nothing for this? Not oh, unless yeah. you energize it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we onto me. Onto you. Your penultimate turn. Hmm uh recharge okay <laughs> <laughs> so you get your income but i can only get only up to there can i i need the chopstick there you go need the chopstick. <laughs> it's the only way it's to great do it. yeah the chopstick of destiny how many points is it 10 money 11 points 11 points so 73 oh look another you've gone over 70. So if you get three. So there you go you get another three one two three four workers uh i've got Six stars, 26 stars. 26, we're going to have to use one of your own yep. milestone markers. So that can go there. So he can go there? Yep. Oh, that's going to be good. You've got 11 points per factory. And how many factories? Four. Nice. This Plus. is how the game's supposed to be played. <laughs> Plus, do I get... Anyway, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah. So what else have I got to do? Uh, You spend all your stars, Done. get all your tiles back. Yeah, is that it? You can have the chopstick back. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Right, my penultimate tip. Chopstick of destiny. So... I don't know what I'm going to do now. No, I'm, I'm going to energize this. That's what I'm going to do. Because that's going to get me... Although I'm in that section. I'm in that section. But I think I'd like to be in here. Yeah, that's really good for me. Or do I want to place track? See, the problem is, I've not unlocked my, my screwing one. Right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that there. I am going to move my... Victory point income track up by one. I can't, so I get a point. Then I'm going to energize. I've got one free electricity, two, three, three free electricity. I am going to send this uranium down here, into here, through my turbine. No, not through my, just there, for another two. So that's five. And. I don't know what I'm going to do as my last action, but it isn't going to be energized. So I might as well send my other uranium. I mean, uranium is worth some points at the end of the game. So it's actually probably best spending one money with the discount of one to buy that coal. So there's the six electricity. That flips that over. That gets me six stars. And three rainbow men up. And three of them up, which I can't have, so I get one, two, three points. So I did that, I did that, I've powered that up. I don't get any bonuses for energizing anything. And that is... Oh no, I've got 13 stars. Yeah, so I placed the thing above, which means I can complete that, which is eight points. Right, Pete, your last Let's turn go. of the game. It's just occurred to me that if... Uh, doesn't matter. Um, so we know that building an urban building is going to get you four points. 
Is there anything else you can do that's going to get you more than four points? None of this counts for in-game, does it? The income tracks, no. No. I'm going to do that because I can build an urban building. Mm -hmm. and there's no point doing anything other than the cheapest. Nope. I get a discount of two and it can go... It can go anywhere. I had to do re-energize because it was 11 points. So, um, does do it you work? not have a government building on the board? Me? No, Pete, you do. So if you build a residence in that network, which yeah. is there, yeah. you're going to get an extra two points. Why? Because that's the government building for residences, which is powered on. So what do I need to build in there? A residence. Oh, okay. So a cheap residence. A cheap residence. That costs me nothing. It costs you <laughs> two, four. Oh, right. Minus two. Minus two, minus one. So it so costs you one money. Point. Okay. So <laughs> that can go in there. That can go in there. Yeah. You put that in there and sort it out. Sorry, it's where all crashed. We, where are we going? In, in, the, in the space, the inward space it can go into with the railway straightened up. Yeah, you're just building but, it. Um, and then I move one up on that track, which yeah. gets me another three. Oh, yeah, I get you three points. That's yeah. my go. Okay. I'm really happy. Right. Because <laughs> I thought it was a job. The, the plan has come together. Well, just, I was like, oh, I need but one more building for my final scoring. What's your last action? Build. It's that one there. Plus five. It's a government building, so it's going to go from into there. Costing me five. I could still do one of these, but this is worth more points, I think. Five. I'm then going to energize it. I get three for free automatically. There's another three. That's six. Oh, I need two more. Two of those. I've got four money. If we want, flip that. More energy. What's Eight that? Stars. That's another residential government building. They're all out. Eight stars. Uh, what's that? Him up four. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Is it? Right. Um, so I don't think I'm going to recharge on my last turn. Because you can earn more. Oh, because if, if I recharge, points. I'm only going to get three points. Yeah. I'm going to get seven money and three workers, which is effectively another two points. So it's five points if I recharge, but I think energizing that is going to get me more, or is it? What's energizing that going to get me? It's going to get me another four stars. So I'm on 16. 10. I'm on 16. You're 20. It gave me 20. I can't, I can't be in that section. Oh. So I only need nine stars. Yeah. Well, I looked at, I only wanted eight to be in that bit. Excess stars is not worth it. So. I think I'm owed some workers. I don't think I picked them up. I've got no workers there, and I haven't used any since I recharged. Five. I think I should have five workers at the end. Concentrated on everything else, and I forgot that. I could take a contract. Would I then be able to do the contract? No. No. Five and whites. No. No. I'm not going to be able to build two railway links. No. I now. I was really hoping not to recharge on my. Last I was turn. just about to say, so recharge sounds like the only option. Well, re recharge is worth five points. It, six points. It, it's worth a net five points, effectively. But I was kind of hoping there would be something else that I could do. But I don't think there is. Is there a way to get my level three tech? If there was. That would be amazing, but no, there isn't, because I've not built the bottom turbine, turbine or the bottom mine. Um, there isn't a tech available. Well, there is that one, the contract available that requires six buildings in orange. I have one, so if I could build another five buildings in orange, that would be great. Is building one of these going to help me? Only if you can power it. Well, no, it, it's I'm in the same boat as Pete. I will get an additional four points if I build another one of these. Just just building it. But there's no point building another government building because I can't energize it. I only get to do one action.
if I could take three tiles, I could get three points for finishing that. But again, that that wouldn't get me anything. And what if I build a railway? Is a is a railway going to get me anything? No, it's not. Gonna it's going to get me two money and a and a star. It's not so going to get like me a recharge. Still, so it's going to be a recharge. Yeah, five points. So it's well, it's three points. One, two, three, seven money. And three workers. Right. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixteen stars. But I'm already in there. I'm already in there. Do I go in there? Can you put me in the eight? That was there, was it? No, that's what I think that's what I assume we were doing, aren't we? You said oh, sorry. At the end of the game. End of the game. You've got eight. That's stars. what I thought you were doing, that's why No, I no, no, I did it as part of a recharge. Oh right, sorry. That's all right. But that's my go done. I recharged, I did all of that, I did all of that. I got my income. Yeah, so end of the game, you had some stars left. Yeah. And you spent that. those stars I to put them on there. Doing that. And that's it. Right. So we do end of game scoring. So the first thing we'll do is you two both lose three points because you were down here in Kansas. Yeah. One, two, three. Two, three. Next, we'll do these. So starting at the bottom. Um, blue and red both get two points per city that has an illuminated building in it. So, Ben. Two, three, four. Four? Yeah. So that's eight points. Yep. I've got one, two, and there's one up there. Three. Six. So six. I've got three, which gets me six. You're not in here. Oh, right. Okay. In that case, it's, it's just the stars. Right. Right. This next section is here. So this is for every two urban buildings on the board, whether energized or not. Red is getting three points for every two. Three, six, nine, twelve. So 12 points to red. Green, you're getting four points for every two buildings on the board. Eight. Okay. Uh, so you get 12 one, two three yeah all right and i'm in here and here so i'm getting seven points for every pair for every pair 14. so seven 14. Oh. it would have actually been better for me to build an urban building because you would have got one more because i'd have got another seven, seven points so uh yeah. no yeah. right two points more now we're in here so this is for every two train lines on the board. Green gets five points for every two train lines. So that's ten. And blue gets five points. I meant to put that in there, didn't I? Anyway, maybe I couldn't. Green's ten points. So green gets ten points. What did you say you're getting? Five for every pair. Five points for every five, pair. 10, 15, 20, 25. Yes. 25, 1, 2, 3. Two. 1, two, 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 2, sorry. And then finally... And I get what, sorry, first? You, you get nothing for that. Yeah, that's fine. Because you're not in there. Good. But here... 100 shield underneath it. You're getting 11 points per factory. Uh -huh. And you have four factories. So 44. So 7 to there, and seven. then 36. Okay, right. That's the that's these done. Next, has anybody unlocked their purple end of game scoring tech? Yep. Yours is for the number of illuminated buildings. How many you got? Twenty one points. Twenty one points. That's a respectable score for your first game. If it was to stop there, but it's not going to stop there. Illuminated buildings. Go on then, Ben. We'll do yours. So are, then, are they all illuminated? Yeah. So you can just count the points on your board. I just do here. So yeah, three, yeah. five, seven, eleven, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-two, we'll, twenty-seven. We'll do the government buildings in a minute. So do the non-government buildings. So not those. Yeah. Eleven, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty. Seventy-eight. So I'll do my non-government buildings. Six. Just kept them off your board. Seven, eight, nine, because that's not eliminated. eliminated. Eight, eleven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pete? 
so not not these ones you, not you'll need to count them on here because that they're not illuminated yeah i wasn't counting that one okay yeah so, so not the bottom one it's not the bottom one so three four five eleven thirteen i get fourteen. Oh no sorry i'm counting the wrong things three five eleven and where's the other one So 13? Yeah. Uh, 87. 87. Right, so government buildings. We'll do yours first, Pete. So your government building is here. Yeah. So it gets two points for each residence in the same network as that, including itself. So it's one, two, three. Your network extends down here, yeah. but there's no buildings anywhere else. Yep. So it's six no points. That's not connected because we've said before yeah. that doesn't go through. Right, Ben, you've got all three government buildings out. So the first one is here. Two points for every residence in the same network as that, which is itself, and that's it. That's it, so just two points. Two points. Next government building is here. Three points for each laboratory in the same network as itself. So just itself, I think. Yeah, so three. Yeah. And where's your other one? Factory. Two points for every factory, including itself. So that's one, two, three, four. This isn't connected. So four. That's eight. eight. Okay, right. I've got this here. Oh, sorry, I should have got an extra point for that because it's in Prague. We've got all Prague points are doubled. So this is two points for each residence in the same network as itself, which is one, two, three. Four, five, six. Times two. Twelve. Doubled. Oh, Twenty-four. One, five, eight, eight. Hmm. Right. Next. Markers. I get an extra 20 points because those two markers have reached the end. Six for me. Thirteen for me. Thirteen. I thought it was sixteen. It looks sixteen for me. Okay. And now leftover still have a shield as well. Yep. So Pete. I don't know what the other one is. It's one here. So one point for every two uranium. I think I've got one. Two workers. Are these all added up? No. Uh, so one, two points. Five money. So five. Five, point, five points. Okay. Final score, 111. I'll do mine next. It's, I'm not going to get it close. Um, I've got two uranium, which is a point. One, two, six workers, which is one, two, three. And I've got one, two, three. Lots of money. One, two, three. One, eight, five. Leftover stuff, sir. That's two, is it? That doesn't count. Doesn't count. Nominee. 199. 199. That's it. So I didn't get lapped. <laughs> so 199. Now, speaking to the designer earlier this week, 199 is a very good score. Excellent. I think he said experienced players, well, first first time players, 150 is good. Second or third time players, 170. 199. I think we all played much, much better than we did this afternoon it was like this afternoon we were playing a different game and well we, for that. the game ended this afternoon and we'd hardly done anything yeah, it was 83 70 something and high i got 66 yeah. 66 was my score this afternoon I, I i played better but i was still very much in a different place on the learning curve to you okay uh did we miss the double victory points for prague i, I did but then i went back to it yeah and likely saying you can convert so pete you had a Uranium. Yes. You can convert that uranium into a worker. Oh, that makes all the difference. 112. <laughs> but it's good to know that you, you yeah. can do that at the end of the game. Just thinking, I bought a coal at the end and threw away uranium, but I only have one and not two, so... Yeah. Well, you that's... should have been, you said, if you'd done the other thing at the end, you would probably be on two more points. or Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe one or two more points, yeah. but yeah. So yeah, 199, 185, pretty, pretty, pretty high scores. 
we are we are all done tonight. Now I know a lot of you are probably going to want to know what we think about the game, right. but as I mentioned at the start, this is a sponsored video, so we're not going to give our opinions. If you are one of my patron supporters, I will be starting a discussion thread about this on the Slack channel, where I will be giving my honest feedback on the game, uh, and I'll also be talking a little bit about this in my monthly video log, which I will do at the end of the month. Um, but our job here is to show you how the game plays and help you make a decision about whether this is the kind of game that you like to see whether you want to buy it or not if we've done that then our job is done and let me know if it has or if you've already pre-ordered the game and you just wanted to watch it to see how the game played out uh, then I, I hope it did I know a lot of people in the chat have already pre-ordered the game a, no a number of people in the chat earlier on said that they've already been playing the game on tabletop simulator so they, they they've played the game uh, but hopefully you found this interesting and enjoyable um let me know what you think let, let me know leave me a comment in the video let me know what you think but that's everything for tonight so again big thank you to you two for joining me thank for you. today thank you very much it's been a long day <laughs> uh thank you again to board and dice for sponsoring the video and as always a big thank you to all of my patron supporters for funding the channel and if you want to support me directly and help me continue to make videos you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules but we're all done i'm gonna head off i'll see you all next time take care bye bye, bye.